Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in five minutes from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your five-minute time check, stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in two minutes from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your two minute time check stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in one minute from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your one minute time check stations.
on the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield. Hawkeye basketball is on the air. Oh! Hawkeye basketball is brought to you by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. hy V score big savings with a new hy V Perks membership. Honda, to see how Honda crushes the competition, see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. United Healthcare, committed to helping people live healthier lives. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes, built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Wimmer's Meats, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. And by Alliant Energy, powering a clean energy future. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. Final exams are through. They're over with. Basketball class is in full session for the next 30 days. Iowa coach Fran McCaffrey calls this the best time of the year, including the holidays. We're at the Wells Fargo Arena this afternoon in Des Moines, site of several NCAA regionals since its opening back in 2005. Now home to uh, basketball's uh, Wolves, the Iowa Wolves, the Hockey's Wild, and football's Barnstormers. Well, this afternoon, the well welcomes the Hawkeyes for a doubleheader dandy. First up, it's the Iowa men and the Rattlers of Florida A&M to be followed by the fourth-ranked Hawkeye women and Cleveland State at 6 o'clock. It's a homecoming for former prep stars Caitlin Clark and the Sanford brothers Peyton and Price. Uh, They're in very familiar territory here at the well, uh, this arena that uh, has been uh, built and sat right in the middle of downtown Des Moines, the capital city, for uh, uh, the better part of uh, 15 to 20 years. Good afternoon, everybody. Gary Dolphin and Bobby Hanson, thank you for joining us on the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Uh, Bobby, nothing but basketball for these players uh, till class resumes in mid-January. I know you you lived that at one time. Every player looks to improve uh, in every aspect, every facet, every characteristic of his or her game, uh, particularly the four freshmen for the Iowa men that were uh, thrown into the fray uh, right from day one, and they're getting more minutes uh, by the game. Absolutely, and uh, Fran mentioned that you don't have depth if you don't play them, so I'm going to play my guys here. So they know they're going to get in there, and, uh, you know, as you mentioned, Gary, finals are in the rearview mirror, so it's a time for uh, the team to concentrate on some individual improvement and definitely team improvement. So uh, as he said, it's a really great time. You don't have to you can sleep in a little bit. You don't have to hustle off the class. You don't have papers due, homework due, uh, tests to, to prepare for. So... Yep, I'm sure everybody did really well in the classroom, and now they can come together. These next three non-conference games, Gary, a time to get healthy. Hawkeyes are five and five. Well documented, having lost uh, documented, having lost three games in succession to Purdue, Iowa State, and Michigan. The Hawks surrendered 87 points to the Boilermakers and 90 each to the Cyclones and Wolverines. Michigan most recently outscored Iowa 27 to five in the first eight minutes of that second half uh, this past Sunday. Uh, in Iowa City. Uh, In what area, Bobby, obviously the defense needs work, but uh, what area defensively do you want to see the improvement today right from the start? I I, I would like to see on the ball defense. You're letting the guys get around you too often and and too easily, so you got to center up your guys, square him up, and then funnel him to the sideline if you're on as quick as they are. Funnel him down to the baseline, but don't let him turn that corner and get into the paint. We've been getting, uh, you know, some tough nights and the points in the paint where they're just taking advantage of the Hawkeyes. So that starts with on-ball uh, defense. So all the guards, you know, they can do it. You just got to set your mind to it, get down, and get after it. After that, I'd like to see the rebounding. Um, in, in these games here, you should dominate inside, and you should uh, you should be able to get some offensive rebounds and also get that defensive board, get it out and run, get back to who you are. The Hawkeyes are a high-potent offensive team once they can get the, the defensive board. Yeah, Fran McCaffrey talks about that in our video visit today uh, rebound the first miss not the second or third one don't be giving them extra opportunities Iowa out of 300
162 Division I teams is 336 in points allowed, just under 80. Now, the good news is the Hawks are averaging a little over 80. Florida A&M is 2-5, and five, led in scoring by senior guard Love Bettis. He's averaging 15 points a game and a couple of assists. The Rattlers have four double-figure scores, so it's all hands uh, needed on deck for this Hawkeye basketball team and the Iowa defense this afternoon. Florida A&M uh, delivers about 80 points, 79 and a half a game. They're giving up uh, north of 80 as well. So who plays the better defense? When we come back, we're going to talk Hawkeye historical moment. This is the High V showcase. For for years, it was the High V Classic uh, here in the middle of the capital city, and High V has been named the presenting sponsor for this special basketball doubleheader featuring the Hawkeye men's and women's teams uh, this afternoon and this evening. Caitlin Clark and the fourth-ranked Hawks will take the court uh, about a half an hour after this game con concludes, and the thing has been sold out. This session has been sold out since uh, like a week after it was announced back in the spring. We're brought to you by a number of great uh, Hawkeye sponsors. We always appreciate uh, the support of the Hawks, both throughout football and basketball, including the Iowa Soybean Association and U.S. Cellular. This holiday season, Iowa basketball is partnering with U.S. Cellular by giving the gift of connection. The Hawkeyes and U.S. Cellular encourage fans to support Iowa nonprofit organizations by donating new sports gear, art supplies, or family games. Fans can deliver donations to their local U.S. Cellular store through December 31st through New Year's Eve. Your support is truly appreciated. Let's show Iowa how the gift of connection can impact the next generation. In just a minute, we'll trip down memory lane, a couple different areas with the Hawkeye historical winning moment presented by Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering the Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The Countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit IALottery.com slash VIP. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. 
Join the Hawkeye Radio Network and Swarm for our Hawk Talk Bowl preview show. Swarming to the Citrus, live from the pub at the Point Orlando on December 31st from 1 to 2.30 p.m. Central Time. Join us for an in-depth analysis of the Hawkeyes versus the Tennessee Volunteers. Hawk fans traveling to Orlando. Make sure to stop by the pub at the Point for the best fish and chips in the U.S., plus over 30 draft beers, including the Pour Your Own Beer Wall. It's the Hawk Talk Bowl preview show, December 31st on the Hawkeye Radio Network and the official YouTube channel of the Hawkeyes. This is the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show, delivering solutions for every life, every day. And another outstanding uh, uh, crop delivered to the bins of uh, our Iowa soybean farmers. Welcome back to our Hawkeye pregame show, courtesy of the Iowa Soybean Association. We're at the Wells Fargo Arena in downtown Des Moines. Doubleheader, Hawkeye men first, then the Hawkeye women at 6 o'clock tonight. Right now, we trip back and time a memory maker courtesy of uh, riverside casino and golf resort this is the hawkeye historical winning moment we were wondering on the trip down here when when was the last time the hawks played uh, i remember it was against uh, uh, the university of northern iowa in cedar falls and it was december 15th uh, almost uh, five years to the day five years ago yesterday the hawks defeated you and i hawks were ranked 22 in the country defeated the panthers of ben jacobson 77 54 uh, you know, Jordan Bohannon never got to play in an Iowa high school boys basketball state tournament here at Wells Fargo Arena. His Linmar teams, although very good, never made it, including a crushing loss to Cedar Falls as a senior despite his 44 points. And the Tigers star at that time was sophomore guard A.J. Green. Wow. So, Playing with the Milwaukee Bucks. Yes, right now. Way to go, A.J. So there was a little revenge on Bohannon's mind that uh, that day as uh, the 22nd ranked Hawks uh, get out of town with a 23 point uh, victory. Bohannon limited Green to just two points. AJ hit one of eight shots. He'd been averaging 16. And with that defense, the Hawks uh, ignited in the first half, led by 20 at the break and win it by uh, 23. The Hawks took advantage of their. Uh, uh, giant uh, size uh, advantage uh, inside. Garza and Tyler Cook both had 17 points. Cook added 13 rebounds for his 12th career double-double. We could use a little uh, Tyler Cook toughness inside on rebounding today. Yeah, that, that's the type of guy you need, no doubt about it. I see Laji Dembele as, as possibly that type of a player who attacks both ends of the glass right there. So uh, back to Jordan Bohannon and A.J. Green. So now Jordan Bohannon was a defensive stopper on top of a dead-eye shooter. <laughs> As that. well, yeah. <laughs> we we often kidded Jordan about his defense, but you know he was so good. Stay in front of you. He was so so good with posture. Yeah, you know, that's what uh, he knew right where on the floor to be uh, to take uh, you know your strong hand away. And obviously he had a good reach on that uh, six one frame. So uh, Jordan and AJ, I'd forgotten those two were knocking heads that afternoon. For a long time, yeah. Iowa beats you and I. A couple of other notes. Uh, last night, December fifteenth, or yesterday was the 79th anniversary of uh, Glenn Miller's disappearance, uh, the great band leader, the uh, musical genius of World War II. Glenn Miller, uh, born and raised in Clorinda, down the road from here, down near Ed Podolak's hometown of Atlantic. Uh, Glenn was uh, crossing the uh, English Channel uh, in his plane, he and the pilot, and uh, disappeared off radar. He was headed to France to meet up with his band, and they were going to entertain the troops, uh, much in the way, much in the vein that Bob Hope did for all those years with his entourage. So we remember Glenn Miller this weekend. And then 79 years ago today, the Battle of the Bulge, the United States. Army's greatest struggle to deny Adolf Hitler's last chance for victory. Hitler and uh, the Germans tried to cut the Allied lines into the British and the Americans. It was an incredible struggle for the weather as much as for uh, uh, the uh, the warfare. It was 32 be uh, below zero oh, no. when uh, the troops awoke on that morning, December 16th. Many froze to death in their foxholes and uh, just a vicious battle. Hundreds of thousands of casualties uh, killed, wounded, or missing in action on both sides. Uh, there were over uh, 3,500, 4,000 citizens, civilians killed in the small town of Ardennes and the surrounding villages. Uh, Ardennes, of course, the thick forest. Uh, just incredible. If you've never seen the movie Patton, 
please watch it. Uh, it chronicles uh, in depth the uh, the famous Battle of the Bulge. I know your dad lived through World War II and served his country as a fighter pilot. He did, yeah. He was a, a belly gunner in a B-17 based out of Ridgewall, England. They fly over the English Channel and uh, bomb uh, Germany, uh, cleaning up the ball bearing factories, the oil refineries. He said it, uh, he enjoyed it. You know, he was 18, 19 years old, coming out of Boone, Iowa, or Ogden, Iowa. But uh, he did not want to be on the ground. And uh, they probably heard of the Battle of the Bulge. And uh, he said, I can't swim. Him, can't be in the Navy. I don't want to be on the ground and put me up in the air with the, with an airplane. So we uh, we salute all those servicemen and women who uh, give of their time and, and uh, sacrifice the ultimate sacrifice. December 16th through January 28th, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Battle of the Bulge uh, lingered and American soldiers uh, with help, uh, giant help, of course, uh, significant assistance from the British were able to hold off the Germans and it went south on Germany from there as uh, just a few months, uh, about a year later, uh, World War II came to an end. So thank you, veterans, men and women of the United States military for your service. There's an extended Hawkeye historical winning moment thanks to our friends at Riverside Casino and Golf. We know the Keel family support of veterans uh, all the over Give Iowa. The Foundation. The, that's right. The Give Foundation. Uh, log online at RiversideCasino.com uh, and you can find that Give Foundation at uh, the casino itself. It's so much more than the uh, casino. It's a golf resort, Blue Top Ridge, the spa, uh, excellent dining at Ruthie Steak and Seafood, and so much more. Visit Riverside Casino and Golf Resort located minutes south of Iowa City. Up next, we'll look at the Iowa City Sports Commission women's update in the U.S. Bank scoreboard. Some major games today, uh, headlining games involving Big Ten teams. Uh, U.S. Bank scoreboard is around the corner. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the Better Check That Business Out First so you don't get ripped off Bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. If you're looking for the perfect place to host your holiday party, look no further. Come to Bumps at Finkbine. Have a good time as our new chef, Rick McCombs, provides an unforgettable experience. Don't forget about Thirsty Thursday Super Social Hour, where Bumps offers buy one, get one free on domestic beer bottles, house wine, well cocktails, and appetizers. Not only is Bumps the ideal spot for Hawkeye pregaming, they also offer a fantastic Sunday brunch. Bumps is your one-stop spot for great food and a great time. Go to Finkbine.com for more information. 
Time for the Iowa City Sports Commission Hawkeye Women's Sports Update. Of course, Caitlin Clark and the Hawks take the floor here at 6 o'clock tonight after uh, at the conclusion of the Iowa uh, men's game with Florida A&M, which uh, will tip off uh, around 3.30 this afternoon. We'll have that call here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Third-ranked Iowa. I think I said they were fourth-rated uh, earlier in the show. They climbed a spot this week after some impressive victories, including a win at uh, Wisconsin. And, of course, Caitlin Clark earned Big Ten Player of the Week honors again. This is her 21st weekly award. 21 times she's been named Big Ten Player of the Week. That's second most in conference history behind uh, Megan Gustafson of the Hawkeyes. So they have uh, put a stranglehold on that award. Clark, uh, who crossed the uh, 3,000 career point threshold against Iowa State, uh, led the Hawks to victories in Ames and in Madison, their Big Ten opener. The Hawkeyes uh, will be in action again shortly after six tonight against nine and one Cleveland State and of course the game can be heard on select Hawkeye radio network stations uh, with the golden throated Rob Brooks and uh, Tiffany at his side calling uh, all the action just looking for my notes here I'll, I'll mention that a little bit later on but the Hawkeye women's wrestlers are at a big meet this weekend I can't put my hands on that right now we'll, we'll pull it up here shortly as I tell you about the Iowa City Area Sports Commission responsible for our community being home to countless amateur sporting events and state tournaments like volleyball wrestling tennis and much more the Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life the Iowa City Area Sports Commission is a proud presenting sponsor of UI women's athletics the Hawkeye swimming and diving team swept the Big Ten weekly awards Sophomore Scarlett Martin was named Swimmer of the Week for the Hawks. Junior Michaela Hubanks earned Diver of the Week. And Olivia Swally from, she's from right here in Des Moines, isn't she? Johnston, I believe. Johnston. Yep. Way to go, Olivia. What a I know Father Scott. Hi to Scott. Olivia picked up her third Freshman of the Week honor uh, this season. She's well on her way to 21. <laughs> 21 times being named Freshman of the Week, we hope. The Hawks uh, travel January 2nd to take on Miami at 1 o'clock in Coral Gables. Now, Hawkeye wrestlers, just give me a second here. Uh, they're at the uh, Desert Duels down, I believe that's in, uh, in Arizona, uh, competing, uh, or excuse me, it's in Las Vegas, hosted by uh, Wartburg College. Hawks competing against Adams State, fourth-ranked Colorado Mesa University, and eighth-ranked Simon Frazier. Uh, they started last night. They'll wrestle uh, t uh, tonight and tomorrow. Good luck to the Lady Hawkeye wrestlers. The uh, Iowa women's gymnastics team senior Adeline Kenlin and sophomore Karina Munoz were named Big Ten gymnasts to watch this season. The Hawks open up right after the uh, first of the year. That's our uh, Hawkeye Women's Sports Update, courtesy of the Iowa City Area Sports Commission. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is a proud presenting sponsor of UI Women's Athletics. Learn more at wegotnext.org. Wegotnext.org. At U.S. Bank, we know when you invest in a community, the community invests in you. U.S. Bank is committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of our customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Let's look at uh, other uh, Big Ten teams in action. Georgia Tech nipped Penn State in overtime, 82-81. Second-ranked Kansas rallied to beat Indiana in Bloomington, 75-71 today. And uh, Rutgers had no trouble with Long Island University winning 83-61. Ohio State and UCLA are squaring off uh, in Columbus. And it's UCLA 19, Ohio State 16. Michigan leads uh, Eastern Michigan up at the Chrysler Center by 13. They're just early on in the second half. And Michigan State is smothering number six Baylor, 63-37. Tom Izzo's team back on track. That's got about 10 and a half minutes to go in the game uh, up at uh, the Breslin Center. Later, uh, other Big Ten teams in play. Among the ranked teams around the country, 19th-ranked Texas defeated LSU. 24th-ranked Miami over LaSalle. 
Yeah, other games a note. It's uh, Clemson leading Memphis by seven late in the first half. Number four, Houston has a 15-point lead on Texas A&M at the break. The Hawkeye women play tonight, and in the NFL, late in the fourth quarter, about four minutes to go, the Vikings lead at Cincinnati, 24-17. to A couple bowl games today, too. We'll get to those scores later. Right now, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. 10-second ID break here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. We're in Des Moines at the Wells Fargo Arena waiting Iowa and Florida A&M. This is Hawkeye Basketball. Thanks to all of our stations along the Hawkeye Radio Network, 55 of them, including our flagships WHO, AM 1040 here in Des Moines, and in Cedar Rapids, it's AM 600 WMT out in Sioux Center. Thank you, KSOU, AM and FM. In Mount Pleasant, it's KILJ 105.5 up in the Lakes area, and Milford is KUQQ 102.1 FM. In just a minute, we're going to hear from the natives on these Iowa rosters, the Peyton and Price Sanford the Sanford brothers, and we'll also hear about Caitlin Clark and her past high school glories in this building. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Does your company attire make you feel like you're always fourth and long? It's time for a change. Hand the ball off to Authentic Brand and watch your team transform into MVPs. On game days, our team dresses like champions in Authentic Brand. Ensure that your company's reputation remains untarnished by using nothing but the label specifically designed to display your company's identity. Ask your supplier for authentic brand products and see for yourself why it's more than just a label. It's a statement. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Jill Armstrong and her team strive to make every buyer and seller at ease with the real estate process. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, contact the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty. For all your real estate needs, call 319-631-5455. There's a Honda for every holiday adventure. Whether it's traveling to the holiday family dinner in an efficient Accord hybrid, or heading to a hike to burn it off in a powerful CRV hybrid. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Accord hybrid and 2024 CRV hybrid. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. Lots of insurance companies make promises about how much you can save if you switch over to them. Well, here's our promise. With the West Bend policy, you can save everything. Every memory. Every detail. Everything you've worked so hard for. Once it comes time to actually make a claim, a cheap insurance policy can really cost you. Why not protect everything that matters with a policy from West Bend? Because the worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hey, it's your friend, Social Media. You know, where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting because we all have struggles and challenges like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. Talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to. Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. Welcome back to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Biodiesel, moving Iowa forward. Welcome back to Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines. The Hawkeyes play their third neutral site game of the season today, facing Florida A&M. Coming up in just a minute, we'll hear from 
uh, the Hawkeyes leader of the pack, Peyton Sanford. Is your small business ready for a big promotion? To support and celebrate small businesses, United Healthcare and Hawkeye Athletics are teaming up for the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Winners receive radio promotions, social media recognition, and much more. To enter, visit HawkeyeSports.com slash UHC. United Healthcare, a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Peyton organized a players-only meeting uh, earlier this week with the uh, finals right in front of the club, but no ball games for a week and coming off a three-game losing streak. Uh, Sanford, uh, Iowa's leading rebounder at seven a game, averaging 13 and a half points. He said, don't read too much into that. Uh, they periodically meet throughout the year. I think that's been good for a lot of guys kind of to get on the same page. And um, we just kind of want to stay together. And um, obviously it's easy to say that and kind of hard to do. But I think we've done a good job. I think this week at practice has been good. And, you know, I'm proud of the guys for kind of how we've, we've handled this adversity. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping it translates today. And I think we're going to see a, just a very inspired team. And, you know, we have a lot of really hardworking guys who really want to compete. So, I mean, it's going to work out. I remind people that you, you, you've you lost three games to, at the time, top ten ranked teams. And this is about as young as Iowa's been in a while. Yeah. Um, you know, we have a lot of guys who who have come from new places, and this is kind of their first time um, playing this high level of basketball. And a lot of these guys are winners, so, I mean, they don't really know what it's like to lose like this. So it's kind of a new experience for everybody. But um, I think just being the winners that we have, and um, everyone everyone's going to grow up quick. And... Um, just with be, being those winners, we're going to figure this out and start winning a lot more games. Coming back home uh, to play in front of the, the home folk and uh, just playing in the capital city, it's got to be a thrill. Yeah, I'm very excited. Um, a lot of great memories from this arena and obviously grew up here. I've been watching games in this arena forever and then uh, played a ton of state tournament games, won a state championship here. So, I mean, I was really excited to be back today for shoot around. I'm really excited to get Hawk fans from this area at the game and I think we're going to have a great great showing of hawk fans and you know i'm really excited about it peyton is uh, familiar with the surroundings uh, at wells fargo arena as is younger brother price the 66 uh, freshman uh, from waukee northwest both played uh, multiple state tournaments in here in fact uh, price played in four one one i believe his sophomore year wells fargo arena is certainly a structure that he's familiar with yeah yeah absolutely play here uh I think it's my 11th game playing here. Uh, got to go to all four state tournaments uh, throughout my high school career and looking to get some, another win here. you got to be thrilled to be playing in front of uh, the Central Iowa folk. Uh, yeah, I think there's a, a lot of fans. Or I know there's a lot of fans in Central Iowa that uh, you know have, have trouble coming up to the game sometimes. So um, getting to play here in front of those guys and letting them have an opportunity to come watch us is it's going to be really, really fun. Team ready to bust out? Yes, we are. Um, really had some good practices, been really focused, ready to get back on track today. Superstar Caitlin Clark has visited the Wells Fargo Arena a few times in her career. In fact, uh, in the 5A state tournament uh, a couple years back, she hung 42 on the Sanford's alma mater. That's right, yeah. That's last time I played in here. Seems like just yesterday, so I'm excited to be back. I think it'll be fun for our group to be able to play in here. I'm going to have a lot of family and friends in the crowd, and um, I'm expecting a really a really great crowd, a loud crowd, um, a lot of people that support the Hawks and maybe don't always have the, have the chance to see us play in Iowa City. I'm glad we could come here and, and do this for them. I remember I was a little kid growing up coming to the men's and women's uh, state tournaments, and then I was a kid that eventually played in the state tournament, so all that feels like just yesterday, so it's cool that they brought us back here. Shout out to our coaches and um, you know, marketing and administration for putting this whole event together. I mean, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to be able to put on something like this. So um, I'm just really grateful to be able to come back here and play in Des Moines, a city I grew up in and I love so much. So I'm excited. And you hung 42 on Waukee. That's a throw down of the gauntlet to the Sanford brothers. Uh, hey, the Sanford brothers weren't playing, but oh, hey, 42 on Waukee wasn't too bad. Maybe hopefully we can do something half as good tonight. We'll see. Yeah, that game with Waukee uh, in the 5A uh, tournament a couple years back ended up 75-70 Dowling in triple overtime. Uh, Caitlin averaged 33 points and 8 rebounds her senior year at Dowling Catholic. Fun reliving uh, high school memories with the, the natives, the Sanford brothers, and, of course, the incomparable Caitlin Clark. Join us for the Hawk Talk Bowl preview show, Swarming to the Citrus, live on New Year's Eve, December 31st, 1 p.m. to 2.30 Central Time from the pub at the Point Orlando. 
Dive into the Hawkeyes versus Tennessee Vols matchup with player insights, coach interviews, and special guests. Don't miss the action here on the Hawkeye Radio Network and the official Hawkeyes YouTube channel. Up next, we'll visit with Hawkeye head basketball coach Fran McCaffrey. He's presented by your Iowa John Deere dealers. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, You'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop. And count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Step into the action with the Fight for Iowa podcast. Join host Gary Dolphin as he takes you behind the scenes with Hawkeye coaches, athletes, and alumni. Tune in weekly on HawkeyeSports.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and more. Your front row seat to Hawkeye Athletics. Welcome back to the Hawkeye Radio Network's coverage of Iowa, Florida, A&M, and the High V Classic here in downtown Des Moines at Wells Fargo Arena. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everybody. The Hawks have won six of their last seven games in Wells Fargo uh, since this all started back with the High V Classic in 2013. Iowa's not played here since 2018. And the Hawks are 4-1 and one this season when attempting at least 20 free throws. And I bring that up because they need to get to the free throw line there um, Chances of winning go up uh, immeasurably when they shoot 20 or above 20 free throws in a game. Let's hear from Fran McCaffrey, as always, sponsored by your Iowa John Deere dealers, including Van Wall Equipment in Avoca. Well, finals week is over. Coach McCaffrey calls this next month the best time of the year. Nothing but basketball and getting better. Yeah, there's no question about that. You know, it's, it's a unique time because... The game start when it first starts, they come really quickly. Uh, and then all of a sudden, there's a little bit of a break, which there should be, so the kids can focus on finals. So we're happy to be here. And then, like you said, you know, we have another one right before Christmas, and then, then it really starts up you know, after the new year. Coach, uh, I like it that Peyton Sanford uh, led a couple players-only meetings this week to discuss things in general. I think it shows uh, they care about each other, and they certainly care about the game. Oh, no question. I mean, it's a good group of guys. You know, we're, we're close. 
obviously we're not playing as well as we'd like to play, but we play, we're playing well at times, and we have to be better than we've been. And you've got to talk about it, you've got to understand it, you've got to accept roles, and it starts with leadership. So I was happy for Peyton to step up and be that guy. You, you've tinkered with the starting lineup. Owen Freeman brought youthful energy uh, to the to the starting five against Michigan. Uh, other than foul problems, uh, I thought he played really well. Yeah, and he'll stay in the starting lineup. He he deserves it. He's played really well. He just has to relax out there and and, and just go out there and hoop. Uh, trust his talent. Trust his instincts. He's a really good player. You know, we give him a game plan, but don't get so locked into it that you become mechanical. Uh, that's when you get in foul trouble. So if he just plays with a free and clear mind, he's special. Yeah, and seemingly every game day you're talking about rebounding. Get on the glass, and, and Owen's giving you a lift uh, on the backboards. Uh, and I like your quote earlier this week at your uh, press conference, rebound the first miss. Rebound the first miss, and then you can get your break going. And we, you know, we can score in transition. You know, today we're playing a team that has, you know, a 300-pound center, so rebounding is going to be even more important today. Speaking of Florida A&M, uh, this is an old team, uh, save for a talented freshman, uh, Kajai Parker. Uh, there's many seniors, a couple juniors uh, contributing for uh, Coach McCollum. Yeah, they're, you know, they've got a bunch of transfers. I mean, it's, it seems like Duff. We say that every game, every team that we play, they're an old bunch. And that's that's really been the trend with the transfer portal. And, of course, there's still some pandemic guys left out there that have extra years of eligibility. So, you know, you're expecting to see a veteran club pretty much every time you take the floor. Good point. Coach, let's conclude with this uh, wonderful stage that is uh, Wells Fargo Arena today. Sold out, has been for months. Should be an ex- exciting day for Hawkeye basketball. I always love coming here for the old High V Classic. Come to the capital city around the holidays. It, it really sparks a lot of additional interest. It does. And, you know, we haven't been here since 18. Uh, so, you know, we're glad to be back. I mean, the game sold out very quickly. Uh, and I think, you know, our fans from Des Moines have proven they're incredibly loyal. Uh, it's hard for them sometimes to get here during the week. Uh, but they show up on, on Saturdays and Sundays. And we had a great crowd from Michigan last Sunday. So the crowd will be awesome today. And I'm happy for our program and for Lisa's program. Who wouldn't want to come out and see Caitlin and the Sanford brothers, uh, homegrown talent? Exactly. You know, we've got a lot of Iowa kids in general, but, but those three in particular are special, especially the folks around here. Coach, good luck today. Thank you. Thanks, Dolph. Freshman uh, forward, Owen Freeman. He's been a steady contributor in his first 10 collegiate games. Got his first start the other night. He will start again today. He's averaging 9.5 points on a team-best 63% shooting from the field. Our pregame visit with Iowa coach Fran McCaffrey is sponsored by Van Wald Equipment, your Iowa John Deere dealer. Nothing runs like a deer, especially when supported by the team at Van Wall. Stop by one of their locations and learn how to farm better, work smarter, and play harder when you run with Van Wall and John Deere. We're getting closer to tip-off from the Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines, Iowa, and Florida A&M. Coming up next, Bobby Hansen has his club car wash keys to a Hawkeye victory. This is Iowa basketball from Lurfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. 
With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to CaseIH.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel. The Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. And Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, a AAA four-diamond luxury property located just a few minutes from the Eastern Iowa Airport in downtown Cedar Rapids. Whether you're visiting for business or pleasure, the hotel is happy to welcome you. To make reservations, visit the hotel at Kirkwood.com. Thank you for joining us on the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Iowa, leading the nation in biodiesel production. Bobby Hansen's keys to a Hawkeye victory over Florida A&M here at the Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines are brought to you by the official car wash of the Hawks Club Car Wash. With unlimited membership starting at just $20 a month, there is no better time to join the club. Visit clubcarwash.com and find a location near you. Yeah, Gary, you know, we had a week off, obviously. You want to come out here and shake all that behind you off, the, the three games that you lost the prior week. So number one key is going to be to get off to a good start. And how are you going to do that? I wrote down, get out and run. Coming off finals weeks, be good for the Hawks. Play this game. Get back to who you are. And who you are is a high-scoring, potent running offense. So that's what you really got to get your identity to go. And don't let these guys slow you down. Get out and run. But you got to clear that rebound first to be able to do that. Second key is going to be on the defensive end. Continue to get better. Guard your man. Guard your yard. Don't let the dribbler get around you so easy. Keep him centered. Give help only when needed. Don't overhelp if guy doesn't need the help and leave your man open for a three-pointer. So you're going to have to defend the Rattler's quickness. They're going to run some high screen rolls. They use a 300-pound big man inside, six foot ten, 300 pounds. He's going to set up uh, a few screens on that perimeter and, and try to make you switch up. But you got to fight over those screens. So you're going to have to defend the Rattler's quickness today. Defensively, make improvement. Keep these guys in front of you. The third key is dominate the paint. You shouldn't. You should have the size advantage other than that other big guy in there. But so use your bigs. Use Owen Freeman, who's going to be in that starting lineup. Keep Owen out of foul trouble early. Get him the ball. Give him room to operate. Keep moving. He's a willing passer. He's a good passer, but sometimes we'll get a little stagnant on the perimeter. So when you pass the ball inside, don't stand. Get out and give it to the big man. Crash the offensive glass. Uh, give Florida uh, A&M just one shot, Gary. You can't give them multiple opportunities. They will shoot the three ball. They were uh, 9 of 18 you know, a couple of games ago, so they don't defend the three ball very well as well. So be ready to shoot. Catch and shoot when you're out there. Uh, 18 threes made by Creighton in the first game of the year. So if you can make some threes, get your confidence back heading into the uh, the second half of the season here. Another thing I, I like in our visit with Coach McCaffrey, he said he's okay with uh, quick shots. Just look for better shots. Pass up a good shot for a great shot is, is what the coaches will tell you there. And you don't have to squeeze off the first one in there. You might be open, but you might be open for a reason out there. Um, so, you know, just find your shooters. When a shooter gets hot, try to load him up, feed him, give him the basketball. This is where you usually say uh, start the game with a, a sense of urgency. 
uh, with a lot of energy. A lot of energy. You should have that. You know, good week of practice. As Fran talked about, it's a great time of year. The schoolwork is behind you. You have a month off here now. You can really come together as a team. You can string some wins here together. But you want to be playing well, too. A time to work on your individual game, work on your ball handling, work on your passing. And we've got to make shots. We just haven't made shots. We've got some open shots that haven't dropped for you. Those are good shots. So look for the Hawks to get off the mark uh, quick here today. And to your point about uh, uh, three-point uh inefficiency defensively for Florida and up they're giving up 10 a game Bobby teams are shooting almost 40 percent from three against the Rattlers uh, they'll sit in a zone for probably more than they should but uh, they're doing it for a reason with all those newcomers I counted eight transfers uh, on this roster and uh, that's the state of college basketball now. yeah it really is and it's hard to keep track of, of everybody when they're moving around like that but these guys are going to get players that want to move move up a little bit into their level but these guys defensively also will hack and chop so you got to be strong with the basketball, Gary. Don't uh, don't have a lot of turnovers in this game because they will also get out and run. But, uh, be ready to shoot it at that three-point. It's going to be a big key. Make three-pointers here this afternoon. Bobby Hansen's keys to a Hawkeye victory are sponsored by Club Car Wash. Club uh, unlimited memberships through Club Car Wash started just 20 bucks a month, and that means you can take it back through with winter and snow and sleet and mud and grime coming. Take it through as often as you'd like. There's no no better time really now than now to join the club. Visit clubcarwash.com and find the nearest location. Hawk fans, experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all suite hotels, Homewood Suites and Home Two Suites by Hilton. They each offer guests spacious suites. Complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, a pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family when you visit Hawkeye Country. Hawkeye Country as well as Fargo Arena this afternoon here in Des Moines as the Hawks get set to take on Florida A&M. The Mid-American Energy starting lineups and the Farmer State Bank tip-off are straight ahead. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. What are you craving? The Wig and Pen in Ankeny, across from DMAC, is proud to offer dine-in and carry-out. Home of the famous Flying Tomato Pizza and Chicago-style deep dish, the Wig has all of your favorites, including thin crust pizza, appetizers, lots of sandwiches like the Turkey Club and Reuben, soups and salads you'll love, and a full bar. Call to order or just come on in for lunch and dinner. The Wig and Pen in Ankeny, what are you craving? Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon call, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details.
Welcome back to uh, the Wells Fargo Arena in downtown Des Moines. Hawkeyes and Florida A&M about to tip off in just a few minutes. Time now for the starting lineups, courtesy of MidAmerican Energy. MidAmerican Energy makes reliability a slam dunk with a balanced energy mix of wind, solar, and other sources that ensure you always have the power you count on. Learn more at MidAmericanEnergy.com. Hawkeyes are 5-5, five and five. Florida A&M out of Tallahassee. The uh, state capital is 2-5. Uh, and five. The head coach is Robert McCullum. He's in his seventh year. They're 2-5 and five out of the gate. They average 70 points, give up 82. Eight transfers on this roster, and four of them uh, will be in the starting lineup. Jordan Chapman out of Bessemer, Alabama, 6'4", junior, averages three points, a couple rebounds. Hans Lewis Junes, a 6'4", senior from Lake Worth, Florida, is a double-figure scorer at 10 points, four rebounds. Keith Lamar is a 6'5", senior from Stockbridge, Georgia, and transferred in from South Georgia State College. Uh, he can jump out of the gym. Lamar uh, is uh, their leading scorer at 14 points, six rebounds. Their leading scorer in the starting lineup, anyway. Love Bettis, a senior from Pensacola uh, by way of North Carolina A&T, comes off the bench. He's averaging 15 a game. Kajai Parker, a freshman, 6'1", 190-pounder, uh, averages 10 points, four rebounds, and a 92% free thrower. So, for heaven's sakes, keep him off the line. And Shannon Grant, he's uh, the lone uh, giant out there for uh, the Rattlers, 6'10", 300 pounds. He's a senior from Sylacauga, Alabama. He played uh, previously at Mercer University, and now he's at Florida A&M. Shannon Grant averages 10 points, 4 rebounds, and a good free throw shooter at 70%. As I mentioned, they'll come off the bench with Dominguez Stevens, Love Bettis, uh, Morel Schramm, and Chase Bars, among others. Bars out of uh, West Michigan before he found his way to Tallahassee. Yeah, Bob. Gary, that uh, Love Bettis, who comes off the bench, a senior, five foot eleven. He's our leading scorer, 15 a game. Yeah, a couple rebounds, a couple of assists, and a 93% free thrower. Uh, the Hawks don't want to get too foul happy with him. For the Hawkeyes at 5-5, five 0-2 five, oh in the Big Ten Conference that will uh, pick a course back up after the New Year holiday. Tony Perkins will go at a guard, 6'4", senior from Indianapolis. Tony's at 13 points, five rebounds, 76% from the uh, free throw line. And he's gotten that field goal percentage up north of 40 now. Peyton Sanford, they need a big game out of Peyton today and going forward. Uh, Iowa's uh, best rebounder, seven a game, averages 14 points. 6'7", junior from right here in the Des Moines area at Waukee High School. Patrick McCaffrey, the redshirt senior from Iowa City West, is 6'9", about 220, averages 10 points, four rebounds. Ben Cricky, he's been Iowa's go-to guy in the clutch, out of the clutch, all over the floor. Great mid-range jump shot. He can take it to the basket. Ben has been everything that uh, we had hoped for coming out of Valparaiso a year ago, leading the Missouri Valley uh, Conference in scoring at 21 a game. You can certainly see why at 6'9", 240. He's averaging 18 points, 5 rebounds, and 73% from the free throw line. Owen Freeman, young freshman out of Moline High School, gets his second consecutive start. 6'10", 230 pounds. Owen's putting up 9 points, grabbing 4 rebounds a game. The Hawks will play. Uh, Brock Harding and Josh Dix, DeSante Bowen, Laji Dembele, and Price Sanford as well uh, today off the bench. Those are the Mid-American Energy starting lineups. Mid-American Energy. Log on to midamericanenergy.com. All right, the Farmers State Bank tip-off of Iowa and Florida A&M is coming up next. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. You might think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is, Corn Grows Iowa. While farmers work hard to grow the best crop, their Iowa corn checkoff investments are hard at work too. Opening local and global markets for corn and corn-fed products. Educating drivers on unleaded 88 as the best fuel at the pump. Finding new uses for corn and sharing the farmer's story. Iowa corn farmers are backed by researchers, educators, market experts, and more. To keep corn growing Iowa. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. 
Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone. So it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that. Which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. Find an agent at shelterinsurance.com to get started. We're your shield. We're your shelter. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning. Commitment. Resilience. Sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball is brought to you by 988 Lifeline. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. West Bend, the silver lining. Mid-American Energy, look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye Basketball. By your local Ford dealers. And by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. It's game time. Out of Peyton Sanford. Across the court to McCaffrey. Here's Sanford for three more. Yes, sir! 54. And a foul! You're listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes with Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Here's Gary Dolphin and Bobby Hansen. Official starting lineups about to be announced. Iowa and Florida A&M. Welcome back to the Well. Wells Fargo Arena opened in July of 2005, and I, I believe it was Paul McCartney's uh, concert that uh, was the first uh, event major event held uh, in the Wells Fargo Arena and I remember uh, this spot of land as does Bobby Hansen uh, came down here for the better part of 25 30 years covering uh, the state high school basketball tournament in the old vet vets auditorium now the Iowa event center just across the street uh, from this uh, old parking lot which is now Wells Fargo Arena absolutely they kept that uh, the big barn up totally did a fabulous beautiful. remodel on it beautiful Polk County did and uh, on this actual footprint right here Gary this was River Hill Theater where you saw all the first run movies the first part of Star Wars all those uh, great movies uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark and River Hill yeah, Theater it's huh? that right here where we walked in there on that corner and they took it all out and built this beautiful new arena had a great uh, Hawkeye huddle prior to uh, the start of this game today uh, next door at uh, Buzzard, uh, Billy. Buzzard Billy's I almost called it Billy Buzzards but uh, not not so Buzzard Billy's one of the hot spots around Wells Fargo Arena our opening tip today Hawkeyes and Florida A&M brought to you by Farmers State Bank earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin Branch, just outside Iowa City, or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Visit myfsbonline.com. Myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval, 
Minimum $50 deposit. Requires e-statements and direct deposit. Member FDIC, thank you. Farmers State Bank. Well, they parade through the starting lineups. Let's uh, give you some score updates courtesy of our friends at U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank member FDIC. Game still going on. Michigan has a 20-point lead on Eastern Michigan with a minute and a half to go, so the Wolverines will win again. Ohio State and UCLA in a honey of a, a game. It's 38-37 UCLA over the Buckeyes with the 11 and a half to play in the game. Arizona and Purdue. Number one Arizona and number three Purdue in the uh, Indy Classic about to tip off uh, down in uh, the state of Indiana. Now these are all finals in overtime. Penn State fell to Georgia Tech 82-81. Second ranked Kansas. Indiana had the lead for a good portion of that game, but Kansas rallied and Bill Self's crew Caught the Hoosiers at the end uh, with Hunter Dickinson, no less, uh, on the floor. The former Michigan Wolverine and clipped Indiana 75-71. They're behind most that game. I've watched it on the phone. Rutgers defeated Long Island 83-61. Michigan State pounded Baylor 88-64. Good to see Izzo Spartans get finally going. get going. Man, they were up like 42-17 to at halftime. <laughs> we got that alert. Uh, that's probably the more truer Michigan State team that we're going to see going forward into the Big Ten. Michigan State 88 and 6th ranked Baylor 64. Right here it's Iowa, Florida, A&M. And then later, well, actually... Uh, in about, yeah, about 20 minutes out, Northwestern is taking on uh, fellow Chicago University, DePaul. There are some NFL games uh, to be played today. The Steelers, Pittsburgh at Indianapolis. Denver will visit Detroit. Big game for both those teams. Uh, and uh, we do have a final in overtime. Cincinnati rallied to beat the Vikings. 27-24. That damages Big game, Minnesota's uh, playoff hopes, uh, although the Vikes are still 7-7. Seven and seven. Cincinnati improves to 8-6. Two teams fighting for playoffs, uh, uh, playoff positioning there. Yeah, it's that time of year, isn't it? Uh, NFL Saturday games, when they play on Saturday, we know they play every other day of the week, but when they play on Saturday, that means uh, we're deep into December and the playoffs are right around the corner. Our officials for uh, this afternoon's game, this first game between the Hawks and Florida A&M, are DJ Karstensen, Iowa City native, Edwin Young, and Rob Riley, all veterans of the Big Ten. So at the team hotel this morning, I hop on the elevator to come over here, and big handsome guy all dressed up, uh, and he says, right, well, heading to the game. I go, yes, sir. How about you? You too? He said, no, I'm I'm the father of the bride oh, today. Nice. And uh, congratulations to, if I wrote it down correctly, Lexi and Nate. Lexi and Nate from here in Des Moines. Big I day. didn't get Dad's first name, but he was smiling from earlobe to earlobe yeah. as well. He should be. Congratulations. Yeah, I know what's, what that means to the, that whole family and especially those two young people that are tying the knot. Talk about Merry Christmas, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tying the knot. Great time uh, of the over, year. Over the holiday. Well, we're waiting for TV to uh, catch up to us, so we'll say thank you again for joining us this afternoon on the Hawkeye Radio Network, Florida A&M. Uh, the Rattlers. Out on the floor. In the SWAC, they've, Southwest they've Athletic They've got uh, several breeds of uh, snakes. The, the boa constrictor they'd rather do, or the python they'd rather be without. But uh, they, they've got their own bra uh, brand version of the uh, eastern rattlesnake. And the Rattlers out of Tallahassee in their road dark green with orange trim. Kind of look like the University of Miami, doesn't it? A little bit. They certainly huh? do. And uh, they're, they've been on the road a lot, picking up them paychecks from these Power 5 conferences. Head up to Ames tomorrow night to take on Iowa State. Well, not far to go to take on the Cyclones. Hawkeyes are in their uh, half-home, half-road gold with the Big script game Iowa. Gold, Big game it. gold. Script Iowa written across the, the chest. Owen Freeman will jump center for the Hawks along with Shannon Grant. Now, he doesn't look like he's 300 pounds, does he, Grant, I speak of, but he is 6'10". 6'10", yeah, let's call him 280. He's equally proportioned, Big man. let's put it that way. Makes Owen Freeman look small. Yeah, he and Owen are having a friendly conversation uh, 
Grant's a senior, transferred in from Mercer University, so he is uh, experienced. Now the well has filled up, and we're ready to go. The Hawks. Not black and gold. Yes, indeed. Central Iowa welcomes the Hawkeyes. Edwin Young will throw the ball up. Here we go. Owen Freeman tips it in the backcourt to Ben Cricky. And the Hawks have the first look in the offensive end. Man to man is a Florida A&M. They will play a lot of zone, but not now. Cricky with a skip pass left of the lane to Peyton Sanford. Got a smaller man on him. Step back. Jumper is right through. That's a way to start quick. Nice little move that time by Peyton. The fall away. Baseline side. Turn over your right shoulder. Had a smaller man guarding him. Off to a good start. Parker, the freshman, into the front court for the Rattlers. 2-0 Iowa. We play 30 seconds. Now a wing feed for Jordan Chatham. Iowa man-to-man. -man. Peyton Sanford has Chatham. Now center of the floor for Lewis Junes. Junes crossover dribbled on Perkins. Almost threw it away. Gets it to the big guy, Grant. Inside, he backs down on Owen Freeman. Lobs the shot up. In and out, no good. Rebound batted around. Cricky comes away with it. Ben hustling at both ends of the floor. Double teamed. Looks for help. Now bounces along the sideline to Owen Freeman. Thought about throwing it over the top of the defense, but waits for McCaffrey to come get the ball. Now into the far corner for Cricky. He's got a guard on the switch. Get him the ball. Now he drives him in on left baseline. Whirls into the paint. Jump passes to McCaffrey. He's open for three. Passed it up. Now leans in with two on the shot clock. And a layup is good as he found a back-cutting Tony Perkins for two. That's what we talked about. Keep moving. Don't, don't stand and watch. Help your guys out when they pick up their dribble. That time, Tony, a nice cut on the baseline side. Pretty pass by Patrick for the deuce. That bailed Patrick out. Good job of having patience by McCaffrey with two on the shot clock. 4 nothing Iowa. Minute and a half gone in the opening period. Lamar to Parker. Kajai Parker, really good player, runs the show. Gets it to June's right wing. He drives hard right baseline. Shot blocked by McCaffrey as he forced it up. Here comes Sanford all the way. Runs into a defender. Throws up a shot. No good. Rebounded and then out of bounds. Touch last by Peyton. Peyton got caught a tough spot. Very deep. He, he dribbled in a little bit out of control and got trapped by a double team. Yeah, there were no numbers that time. It was two on three. And Rattlers did a nice job of getting back on defense. Peyton wanted to get to the hoop. Nowhere to go. And ball goes out of bounds. So the Hawks hustle back on defense. Lewis Junes with the ball. Center of the floor for Chatham. Chapman now goes into the far corner for Kajai Parker. They're having a tough time just finding a shot. Defense is good. Yeah, very, very good. Man to man. Hawks doing a good job of sliding their feet. Here's a step back three. A tough shot from deep left wing. No good. Rebounded by Owen Freeman. Got five boards a game. Here's a great weak side. Cut and a score by Peyton Sanford on a beautiful pass. Was that Perkins? Or? Tony Perkins, yeah, but nice job. Peyton Sanford, again, not just standing in your tracks, but keep moving. Keep moving. Create some offense with your cuts. Good, strong cut to the basket. He's fouled as he caught it and flipped it up there for the basket. 6-0 Iowa. Peyton, an 84% free thrower, toes the line. The Hawks look to go up 7-0 with two and a half minutes gone. The opening half. From Des Moines. Free throw is good. Well, you could tell talking to Peyton this morning at the hotel, he was he was lathered up and ready to go and fired up. They've had to listen to that oh that three-game losing streak stuff all week long. Here's a nice drive and a missed shot. He threw it up there too hard. That was Keith Lamar. Hawks with a rebound and then a throwaway. Patrick McCaffrey lobbed it well over the head of Owen Freeman. Owen was open, cutting in from the weak side. Patrick just had a little too much juice on that ball. A little ad adrenaline is pumped. Yep, absolutely, trying to make falling. something happen there. Owen was open for a second, but the, they quickly closed the gap down, and Patrick threw it a little bit too high, too hard. First turnover on the Hawks. 17-10 to play in the first half. 7 to nothing, Iowa. Sanford with five of the first seven for the Hawkeyes. Perkins the other basket. There's a stop and go move by the little guy Parker, their best shooter, and he knocks one down left of the lane, 15 feet. Preston couldn't play any better defense than Tony Perkins did there. So Florida AM is on the board. McCaffrey tries to match it with a three. No good. Weak side rebound. Owen Freeman. He's double teamed. Throws back out front. McCaffrey's open again. Shoots. Scores. Second time around for Patrick McCaffrey's the charm. And Iowa scoots out to a 10-2 lead. They missed the first one. Great rebound by Owen Freeman. Waited. Took his time. Patrick came open top of the key. See that first one splash down for Pat. Big offensive board. Perkins with a strip. But right to Parker. Uh, now a steal by McCaffrey. Bad pass. And he's fouled. Trying to outlet 
up the sideline to Perkins. Hans Lewis Junes gets called for the personal, his first. Good effort by Patrick McCaffrey to step in front of that side sideways pass. A couple turnovers here early on for Florida A&M. Now That's we have two fouls. wholesale substitutions coming in. Yeah, a couple fouls on Louis June right there. He'll have to come out of the game. He's uh, one of their leading scorers, averages 10 points a game, but good defensive intensity and energy to start the game for the Hawkeyes. Perkins and Freeman play catch up the floor. They come beating the press. Morell Schramm, the junior from Chattanooga State College in the game. He's guarding Tony Perkins. Here's a backdoor lob for Sanford. He's run into, gets rid of the ball, and then the Hawks nearly throw it away. Freeman's pass, trying to find Cricky in the paint. But they had bodies in front and behind him, defenders. And the ball uh, slapped into the uh, Florida A&M uh, bench. So the Hawks will have it with eight to shoot when play resumes. We've reached our first officials timeout. 15 minutes and 57 seconds to play here in the first half. From Des Moines, at the Wells Fargo Arena, the Hawkeyes have the lead uh, 10 to 2 over their visitors from Tallahassee. Hawkeye basketball is presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% .9 reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Hawkeye cheerleaders made the trip down uh, Interstate 80 to Wells Fargo this afternoon. The dance team and the cheerleaders, so they got the whole crew here. Well, it is a home game. The Hawkeyes are as comfortable here as they are at Carver Hawkeye Arena, Bobby. A great start. Looked like a great start. Great defensive intensity, moving the basketball around and shooting really good, Gary. Four out of six to start the game. That's 67%. Patrick's uh, one of two from three-point land. He's one out of two. He's playing with great energy. I just like how the guys are moving. You know, it seems like we'll get stagnant on offense where you just stand and watch somebody try to make a move inside. you got to move. you got to send some cutters through there. It opens up that defense. Hawkeye basketball is sponsored by UIHC. Guys, we know you take care of your loved ones, but what about uh, you? How much time do you spend taking care of your own health? The experts at UI Healthcare want you to take care of your urinary and sexual health. Visit UIHC.org slash urology. We get back to action, and Patrick McCaffrey misses a runner right of the lane, threw it up a little hard. Here's Florida A&M running back with the rebound. Hawkeyes lead it 10-2 with 15.45 to play in the opening half. Step back three, in and out by Bettis. Bettis into the game. For the first time off the bench, that's Love Bettis. Now he averages 15, so he's going to be looking for a shot. So has Ben Cricky, who has yet to get a shot off. They're after him. Lamar guarding him. Ben drives around him into a double team. Now loses the ball. They're on the ground scrapping for it. Florida A&M with a turnover on the steal. And running. And missing. Wild shot put up by Good Morrell defense Schramm. by Patrick, yep. McCaffrey brings the ball back off the Iowa rebound. It's been one and done for Florida A&M. Here's Cricky. Peyton for three. No good off the front of the iron. And the rebound lost out of bounds by... I thought it lost uh, oh, a touch to Florida. It, yeah, I did too. I thought it touched that young man. But I thought it caught Roderick Coffey, who's into the game. Kid out of Ohio. Ro referee right there. Yep. Sit down. We won't argue. Five minutes gone. Iowa with a 10-2 to 
to two lead. Most of the scoring done early. Now here's a deflected pass back into the backcourt. Love Bettis runs it down. 5'11 guard. And leaves it for Morell Schram. Baseline left. Jump shot is no good. Had a wide look at it, or wide open look did Love Bettis. Cricky clears. Here's Peyton Sanford into the front court. Hawks up 10 2. Perkins lobs baseline left to Cricky. Shot up and good. He forced it up through the big fella. Shannon Grant high off the window and down through. He's got good hands. He caught that ball in traffic and didn't bring it down to his waist. It went right up over the top to get the basket. Another steal by Iowa. Uh, Owen Freeman deflected a, an entry pass in the lane, and Cricky came away with it. Sanford, step back three, air ball. Out of bounds. It'll go right back to Florida A&M. Fran McCaffrey up off the bench. Quick asking, shot. Why, Peyton? Why? Peyton said, I felt the magic. I, I'm in front of the Waukee crowd. I knew I could hit that shot. Florida A&M has gone almost three minutes without a score. Hawkeyes have been empty uh, two of the last three trips. The Rattlers just one of eight. And I have a leading. Well, that's the good news. 12 to two. We played six minutes. Little three-man bob and weave out front now run by the Rattlers. This is Love Bettis, left wing coffee, shot fake, drives hard, left baseline, runs in to Patrick McCaffrey. Now that's six, that's 5'11", uh, running into 6'10". Thought he had an advantage. Perkins is tripped as he streaks into the paint. And it is not a shooting foul on Love Bettis. That's more frustration by Love Bettis after he lost the ball. He shot it off of Patrick McCaffrey's chest at the other end. Peyton Sanford will come out. And he and Coach McCaffrey will have a conversation. 13-39 to play in the half. Tony Perkins will get a well-deserved breather, too. Josh Dix replaces him. And uh, DeSante Bowen also into the lineup. So the Hawks go smaller and quicker. Bowen feeds Owen Freeman. Free throw line. Top of the key left. Here's Bowen driving into a double team. Gets rid of the ball to Freeman. Shot up and good. Count it. Beautiful pass by Bowen. I don't know how he saw Freeman in all that tall timber, but he did. He luckily found him because he had a double team on him there. And the big fella was hovering over the top, but he knew right where Owen was going to be correctly, right in front of the rim. DeSante tossed it up there. Freeman fouled. The end one coming. Hawks have run in seven straight over this uh, 325 drought, three minutes, 25 second drought for Florida A&M, and now can make it eight in a row. Freeman with the and one makes the free throw. Well, he's got a good stroke from the foul line, doesn't he? Really does. Big men, like you like to say, big men that can shoot free throws are so oh, valuable. There you are, uh, precious in this great game of basketball. Well, the Hawkeyes extend the lead to 15 to 2 out of the gate with 13-22 to play in the half. They keep peering inside for the big guy. He finally gets loose, misses a shot, put back, no good. Rebound tipped out, controlled by Roderick Coffey. First time that. Uh, the Rattlers have had multiple looks off the same possession. Here's a bad pass by the center. Grant deflected away with seven to shoot. The right to teammate Bettis. He throws it out way out deep on the wing to Coffee. Coffee tries to get inside. Will he get it off? Yes, he does and scores. Leaned in under DeSante Bowen and got the shot off just as the shot clock was about to hit zero. Oh, good deal by the Hawkeyes. They are Very alert. Good. A lot of hands on the balls. And just couldn't come up with a loose one there. Nice execution by Florida A&M. Now here's Owen Freeman banging into a big 300-pound Grant. Hook shot from the right baseline. No good. Rebounded by Parker. 15 to 4. Now a sliding screen. And the illegal pick is going to be called on Chase Bars. 6-9 grad transfer from Tampa, Florida, but played at Western Michigan. His first. Just a second, third team foul now on Florida A&M. Lodgy Dembele will come in and throw his weight around, give Owen Freeman a nice breather. Uh, Well-deserved. Owen leads well. with uh, three points, four rebounds for Freeman. And he's been a factor at both ends. Dembele and DeSante Bowen across the timeline. Lodgy patiently waits for Bowen to come get the ball. 12-18 to play first half. It's 15-4 Iowa. Bowen, Price Sanford in the game. 
Now to Cricky. He's going to look to try and get his offensive game going, but he's meeting a double team every time. Now he steps out, forces a jump shot there a little quick. No good. Rebounded by Price Sanford. We've got a tie up now. Terrific hustle by both sides. Bars. Chase bars for Florida A&M and Price Sanford diving for that 50-50 uh, ball. 11:56 to play in the first half. Hawks with sparkling defense here in the first eight minutes plus, limiting the Rattlers to two of 12 shooting and four total points. Iowa leads at 15-4 here in Des Moines. This is Hawkeye basketball presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. What happens when you call your insurance company? If you have water in your basement, press 1. Most big companies have a recorded message or an app. If you are in your living room and see sky when you look up, press 2. But when something bad happens, you just want to talk to a person. On a day like that, that phone line can end up feeling like a lifeline. At a time like that, you want a company like West Bend. Because the worst brings out our best. If there is a tree in your bedroom, press 3. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. If you're looking for the perfect place to host your holiday party, look no further. Come to Bumps at Finkbine. Have a good time as our new chef, Rick McCombs, provides an unforgettable experience. Don't forget about Thirsty Thursday Super Social Hour, where Bumps offers buy one, get one free on domestic beer bottles, house wine, well cocktails, and appetizers. Not only is Bumps the ideal spot for Hawkeye pregaming, they also offer a fantastic Sunday brunch. Bumps is your one-stop spot for great food and a great time. Go to Finkbine.com for more information. Welcome back to the High V Hawkeye Showcase from Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines. The Hawkeye women tip off at six against Cleveland State. Here, Iowa leads Florida A&M 15 to four. I want to thank High V uh, for their partnership in this wonderful event and uh, global sports management. Uh, is uh, the mastermind of this uh, doubleheader, and Ivy uh, was only too uh, 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 too uh, acceptable to, to jump on and be the corporate main sponsor. They're a great sponsor here, and uh, do so many things in the community uh, for all the schools here around the state of Iowa. But uh, yeah, that global sports—that's what we go to these uh, Thanksgiving tournaments. Oh here. yeah, they're holiday the, tournaments. Yeah, down in Destin, Florida, and they're the ones that kind of put those on. And old coach Maury Hanks was up in South Dakota, yeah, sort of transitioned into that role as as a uh, coordinator for all these tournaments. Well, this is High V's town. Well, right down the road in Sheridan, but uh, corporate headquarters here in Des Moines. And Hawks are hungry for more of what High V has to offer, as well as uh, what the defense is. Been absolutely spectacular here, Bobby, in the first uh, eight minutes with the Hawks limiting uh, Florida A&M to two for 12 shooting. If anybody wants to argue with you about that, just show them the shooting percentage. Yeah, two <laughs> of 12 at 17 percent, and the Hawks on the boards, winning the battle nine to eight. And on the tie-up, the ball goes over to Florida A&M, and they just do beat the shot clock. Now they're going to get a dunk inside as the Hawks overplayed the ball, and uh, Chase Bars got loose underneath. Iowa, much smaller lineup. Here's Bowen hits a trailing Cricky as Cricky tries to run down the floor and lead the break. Hawks are uh, hollering for a goal ten, and there's a, a foul inside called on Roderick Coffey as he slapped Ben Cricky on the way to the basket. His first foul, sixth team foul. The Hawks have yet to commit a foul. Cricky got raked across the uh, forearms. And 73%. He'll be at the free throw line to shoot two. First one is in and out, no good. Ben looking for his first point. Uh, he got a basket. He got a basket earlier. That's right. One for two. Has a rebound. Played all eight minutes. Second free throw is good. One for one. He's got three now. Iowa 16, Florida AM 6. And a poke away, a double team off the press. Bowen for the layup, reverse score. Underneath the basket out the other side as they pick the pocket of Love Bettis. 
And here's a kick on Price Sanford. That smaller lineup in that 1 2 2 with Sanford at 6 6 out front. Uh, I like it. Trade some damage. Uh, Dembele and Cricky, they're big, but they're they're at the back end. I like it, though. You got the energy of these young young guys, the youthful energy out there harassing the ball handler, making it tough for them to get it across the half court line. And it comes cross court now to Parker. They get it. They get behind the Iowa defense and a lay and a score. Roderick Co Coffee this time. Now Bowen out of control loses the dribble, and it's a turnover on the Hawkeyes. Just three Iowa turnovers. They're trying to score off that. A block shot by Cricky. Blocked down on Keith Lamar. Lamar is 6-5. Oh, and they say it touched Lamar on the way out of bounds. Tried to grab it and save it after Cricky rejected the shot. And Brock Harding's going to check in for Cricky. Now the Hawks go really small. Got a rebound. Two, three, four guards. See if we can keep them off the yeah. offensive glass. Lodge in, that's your job. Three, got three guards and two forwards. Bryce Sanford could play a guard if he had to. That's a new look Iowa lineup. 10-49 to play in the first half. Hawks on top. 18 to 8. Dix holds up at the foul line. Price Sanford for three. That one's just a bit short. Rebounded by Dembele up and in. Biggest guy on the floor for the Hawkeyes. Went up, got it, and put it back in. He's relentless. He, he chased that shot down as soon as it was in the air. He followed the flight of it and went right to the front of the rim, fell in his hands. And nice hustle, Laje Dembele. Hawkeye lead is 12 at 20 to 8. Ten and a half to go. Opening period. Bettis, left wing. Center of the floor now for Lamar. And to the right side. Here's a jump shot, no good from the wing. Put up by Parker. He's looking for his shot. Here's a corner jumper. Good by Brock Harding. Iowa beating Florida and him down the floor. Of course, they got fresher bodies out there, and Robert McCullum wants to talk things over with 9.59 to play in the first half. Brock Harding, who's gotten better and better, especially in the offensive end here, as he gains valuable experience, uh, Mr. Illinois basketball. Experience and confidence. You know, the kid's a hard worker, and that's an example right there that Fran was telling you. Pass up a good shot for a great shot. Price Sanford came down, had a good look here right in front of us, gave it up when the defense came to him, gave it up to a wide-open Brock Harding in the right corner. 23-8 to eight, Iowa. The Hawks are 9 of 17 shooting. That's 53% with a pair of three-point goals. Set up the best zone defense from home heating costs this winter. Tune up your furnace, seal up drafts around your home, and visit midamericanenergy.com to find more ways to keep warm with less energy. Midamerican Energy at midamericanenergy.com. Ten-second ID break here on the Hawkeye Radio Network. Iowa in Des Moines leading the Florida A&M Rattlers by 15. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Basketball. After that, Brock Harding three, Florida A&M will bring it in. And the press falls back. The Hawks showed the one, two, two, and then dropped back into the half court. Hans Lewis Junes into the front court for Bettis. Love Bettis, 15 points on average, and he's yet to get started. Hawks doing a great job covering him up, in particular DeSante Bowen. And here's Grant, the big guy, lures Dembele out to the free throw line. That opens up the lane for Love Bettis, but he reverse dribble, throws it to the wing. Now they try to go into the big guy. He fumbles it around, turnover, Florida A&M. Look at Bowen push the tempo to Brock Harding. Jump pass, no look pass, layup good by Laji Dembele. That's what Brock Harding brings to the table. What a pass by Brock Harding. I thought he was going to throw it to the wing over here, but he saw Dembele flash free with a good, strong basket cut right down the middle of the paint for an easy one. Dembele with back-to-back -back baskets. It's 25-8. to eight. Wing jump shot is no good by Chase Bars of the Rattlers. We got a foul on uh, Iowa in the rebound attempt. They're going to get Josh Bowen, or Bowen not oh. Josh Dix. DeSantis, I, I wasn't even in the well, neighborhood. Even <laughs> First foul well, off. Now the yeah. officials are talking it over. Edwin Young's got a smile on his face. So <laughs> you don't ask me, Rob. Rob Riley. And it comes, and a foul called on Brock Harding as he went for the swipe away there and grazed the arm of Chase Bars. So two quick fouls on the Hawkeye guard court. 9.05 to play. First half, Iowa 25, Florida A&M 8. Matches Iowa's biggest lead. 
And will inbound along the sideline. Hans Lewis Junes. They swing it around right side. For Love Bettis. He's looking inside. Can't find anybody open, so he takes on Bowen with the dribble. Now gets it into the paint. Jump hook is up and no good. Put up too strong by Chase Bars at 6-9. Rebounded by the Hawkeyes. Price Sanford. Crossover dribble gets high post left. Now to a trailing Bowen. Shot up, no good. Put back to Sante. And down it goes. Sante Bowen working hard. He is. He's out there just giving everything he's got. Went right down the paint. Couldn't get the first one to drop. Stayed with it. Gets an offensive rebound and a basket. Hawks by 19. Barnes she throws it inside. And it's deflected out of bounds off of Chase Bars. That entry pass. Actually, the entry pass was attempted by Bars. I was right the first time. It was big Shannon Grant, our 300-pounder, that stumbled through the lane to get it and lost it out of bounds. Another turnover. That is seven turnovers on Florida A&M. Hawks with their biggest lead and the basketball. It's 27 to 8. Eight and a half to play. Opening half here at the well. Bryce Sanford, nice crossover dribble, gets in deep, throws it to the wing to, to Dix. Now inside to Dembele, and a shot goes in. Off the glass and in, and they're uh, going to wipe away the basket. Yeah, they're going to get okay. Josh Dix for the charge. Tough call there. Good execution by uh, Josh. He penetrated, found an open teammate, but they say that uh, Love Bettis had position underneath them, and the charge is called. Fran McCaffrey uh, begs to differ. Timeout on the floor. Iowa 27, Florida A&M 8. And we're back to uh, Des Moines in just a minute. This is Hawkeye Basketball, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt, who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org slash cancer. Join the Hawkeye Radio Network and Swarm for our Hawk Talk Bowl preview show. Swarming to the Citrus, live from the pub at the Point Orlando on December 31st from 1 to 2.30 p.m. Central Time. Join us for an in-depth analysis of the Hawkeyes versus the Tennessee Volunteers. Hawk fans traveling to Orlando, make sure to stop by the pub at the Point for the best fish and chips in the U.S., plus over 30 draft beers, including the Pour Your Own Beer Wall. It's the Hawk Talk Bowl preview show, December 31st on the Hawkeye Radio Network and the official YouTube channel of the Hawkeyes. We're back in Des Moines at the Wells Fargo Arena. The Hawkeye women to follow the Iowa men here uh, this evening at 6 o'clock. Iowa has its biggest lead. The Hawkeyes have had eight different players score and are up 27 to 8 on Florida A&M. 12-2 run over the last three and a half minutes, Bobby, and it's uh, since uh, the opening tip. They've gotten it done, the Hawks have in the defensive end. Hawks are focused, man. You can see that they've been working on the defense here during this week off, and they're getting out and running. It's another thing. They're getting the defensive boards and getting out to who you are, Gary. That you're a running, you're a high-scoring team. Don't let it, these uh, teams slow you down picking up the ball. Pass it. Pass up a good shot for a great shot. And McCaffrey's going to continue to go with this smaller lineup, and it's been yeah, a lot of time for him. DeSante Bowen, Price Sanford, Josh Dix. Brock Harding and Laji Dembele, the only guy uh, above 6'6". There's a, a deflect, another deflected pass. I'd like to know how many deflected passes the Hawks have had uh, in the first uh, 13 minutes, 12 minutes of play. I bet they've had at least five, maybe six. Hands defense. Means you're alert, you're aware. Yeah, Iowa with its biggest lead. Love Bettis. Turn shoots from the top of the circle. No good. He forced that one up there, and Dix tips the rebound to Laji Dembele. Back come the Hawkeyes, hunting for more points. Dix drives it in deep, throws it out to a trailing Bowen. 
Bowen high post right gets inside up with a shot no good. Hawks have 16 paint scores to six for Florida A&M. They are attacking. Dominate the paint. That's what we wanted to, to see here in this game because, yeah, they got the big guy in there, but you, you can't let that bother you. You got to attack them uh, off the dribble, get to the rim, and then crash the offensive glass. Hawks have their best free thrower at the line. 93% is Desante Bowen. How about that? Leading the Big Ten. Oh, oh we hexed him. Announcer jinx. Announcer jinx indeed. <laughs> off the back of the iron. Bowen will get one more. He's got four points, made two of three from the field, has an assist, and he's played a solid six going on seven minutes. Desante lobs the second one up there right through. Peyton Sanford and Tony Perkins will come in for Bowen and Josh Dix. They get a nice hand from the Hawkeye crowd. Iowa leads it by an even 20, 28 to 8. 7.25 to go first half. Bettis along the near sideline for Chase Bars. To Lewis Jones. Now to Parker. Kajai Parker back in the game. He's averaging 10 points on the year. Hasn't had a sniff of that basket yet. And here's a jump stop into the paint. Ball knocked away from Lewis Jones. He gets it back and then he throws it away. That's eight on the rabbit. And, well, they, and most of them have been trying to feed the post and the Hawks just aren't going to let that happen. Lodgy Dumbelli, just as physical as Shannon Grant. Doing a great job. Yeah, he's wearing the big guy out. Harding with a left-handed dribble across the timeline. Brock's got an incredible no-look pass for a basket. Now he drives in right of the lane. Lobs for Peyton Sanford to Price. Price Sanford, stop and go move, gets into the lane, and now a delayed whistle. I didn't catch. Stepped on the sideline, Brock Harding. All right. Catch so a turnover, turnover on the Hawks. That's five Iowa miscues here in the first half. Hawks are on a 13-2 run. No gear over the last five minutes. 10-0 run over the last three and a half. Iowa has scored on four of its last five trips down the floor. And it starts in the defensive end. 28-8, Iowa. Six and a half to go first half. Tony Perkins, another near steal. Uh, another pass deflection. Parker gets it back to Bettis. He drives inside, and Betts scores. Love Bettis with the basket. Left-handed lay and a score. That ends uh, the Iowa run. And a five-minute drought for Florida A&M. Patrick McCaffrey now checks back in for the Hawkeyes. Here's a step back jumper. Good by Tony Perkins. That was silky smooth. It was almost parallel to the floor when he let that one go. Yeah, good looking shot there by Tony. Under control. Didn't try to go too deep into the paint there. The lane was cut off. And just a back uh, step back 15 footer second basket. Perkins with two field goals. Here's another poke away of a pass by this one by McCaffrey. Eight, ha uh, eight Hawkeyes have scored here in the first half. Here's penetration in the lane. A throw to the corner. Now a three from the corner is no good by Keith Lamar. PMAC clears. McCaffrey brings the ball down the floor himself. Left wing, Brock Harding. Now to Perkins. Tony, jab step, throws to the wing, and Lodgy Jambelli hits a three. He lured the big guy out there, but he got there too late. Lodgy not afraid to put that thing up there. Now a quick score by Florida A&M as Grant hustled down the floor. And a nice a pass inside to him in transition by Schramm. Hawkeye lead is 33 to 12. Perkins, Harding, way out in the right wing. Brock, a two bounce dribble into the corner for Peyton Sanford. He penetrates, throws back to Lem uh, Lembelli. Lodgy misses that three from the right wing. Hawks lead is 33 to 12. Parker back for the Rattlers. Now leaves it for Love Bettis. He tried to penetrate, stolen away. Coming out of there with it is Dembele all the way for the layup attempt is Tony Perkins, and he's shoved from behind. He'll get two free throws. Misses the shot. He was off balance. 4.46 to play first half. Hawks with Dembele and Sanford, Peyton Sanford, Pat McCaffrey, Tony Perkins, and Brock Harding on the floor. Owen Freeman is going to come back in after a long layoff. Tony for two free throws. He's fouled by the big man, Grant. Shannon Grant, and he'll shoot two. 76% as Tony makes the first. Perkins with uh, five. Dembele has seven. He leads the Hawks. Five for Bowen. 
Five for Perkins, five for Sanford. Peyton Sanford had five early points to get the Hawks off and running. They haven't looked back. Tony hits two. And it's 35 Iowa, 12 Florida A&M. Kajai Parker trots into the front court. He's got just one basket. He averages 10. Muscles his way down the right side of the lane and ran into Peyton Sanford. Peyton just reached in and scraped it away. Well, you're talking defense. about great hands defense. Yeah, really good. Everybody moving their feet, trying to keep them out of the paint in there, force them out to the sideline. Peyton Sanford playing really good deep today. 16 to shoot coming in for Florida A&M. Lob feed out top for Bettis from Parker. Bettis double team crossover on Peyton Sanford, but nowhere to go. Throws it back on point four to shoot. Bettis is knocked off stride by Peyton Sanford. And uh, Peyton with a foul 30 feet from the basket. That doesn't please Coach McCaffrey. So another 20 on the shot clock, 419 on the game clock. Kajai Parker will inbound underneath out of bounds. Right of the goal. He's looking for Lamar inside. Stead comes to the wing and Bettis. Now to Lamar. Drives through a double team. He's tied up. No whistle, though. We play on. Here's a wing jump shot. Good. A curl in three by Kajai Parker. I thought uh, Brock Harding had wrapped that ball around his, wrapped his arms around that ball long enough to call a jump ball, but they let him go. And a three, a rare three for Florida AM. 35 15. Perkins spreads the court for Iowa. Under four minutes to play first half. Here's Tony with a lob to Freeman. Great body control and a foul called. Owen oh, Freeman scores off glass. Now that's 6 10 up in the air. Still had the presence of mind knowing a defender was underneath him to get the ball to go down. And they were both in the charge block circle. So that's a, a no brainer call there. No brainer. Foul's going to be called on Bettis, I believe. It'd be his uh, first, but uh, good recognition that time. Tony, Tony uh, Perkins realized that Owen Freeman was right there at the front. He lobbed it up there and didn't even come down with it. Gary just laid it in in the foul. 344 to go in the first half, and the Hawks comfortably in front, 37. 15 with a free throw coming when we return. Hawk fans, you can drive your team to a victory this year by filling up with unleaded 88 and quick rewards at any Quick Star location. Fuel up with eight gallons or more of unleaded 88, and you're automatically entered for a chance to win great prize packages throughout the season. Quick Star, proud partner of Hawkeye Basketball. And Hawk fans, Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield knows that you're here for every fadeaway, every alley oop, every buzzer beater. Wellmark is here for every moment, too, with trusted health coverage committed to making health care better. Learn more at wellmark.com slash hoops. This is wellmark.com, Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shields coverage of Iowa Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today.
Hawkeyes with a comfortable 37-15 lead, 3.45 to play in the first half. Owen Freeman out to try and complete the and one, the three-point play. He's got five points, a couple field goals, and misses the free throw. Rebounded by Lamar as we get back to action with the Hawks on top, 37-15. They worked really hard at both ends of the floor to get this 22-point advantage. Florida A&M is seven for 22. They've only had two looks from three. They keep trying to work the ball inside. They work the perimeter now. Parker forces up a jump shot. Not even close. Perkins with a strong rebound. Seven for 23. 30% shooting is Florida A&M. Here's Freeman. Drives his shoulder inside. Scores off the glass. But I'd say a double move, but it was like four or five moves. He uh, turned Chase Mars inside out. But he kept his pivot foot down, Gary, and he, and he kept his composure. He was patient, let the traffic go by him, and then got back to over the left shoulder with the right-hand hook. Here's Mars playing the post. Now here's a step back three. Dips in and out. No good. Offered up there by Kajai Parker early in the shot clock. Hawks are rebounding and running. Ben Cricky pull up jump shot in and out. No good. Rebound tip to the corner. Run down by Perkins. Hawks controlling the backboard as well, particularly the offensive board. Here's Perkins. He's fouled by Coffey. Well, we and were told that they hack and slap an awful lot, and that's about 10 team fouls. And second foul on him, on uh, Coffey. Is it Love Bettis, who now has three? He's got three. Yeah, he's out of the game. That's a bunch of guys with two. That's 10 team fouls on Florida A&M with 237 to play in the half. Hey, this holiday season, Hawkeye Basketball is partnering with U.S. Cellular by giving the gift of connection. The Hawks and U.S. Cellular encourage fans to support Iowa nonprofit organizations by donating new sports gear, art supplies, or family games. Fans, you can deliver your donation to any U.S. Cellular store through December 31st. Your support is appreciated. Let's show Iowa how the gift of connection can truly impact the next generation. Tony Perkins with one of two free throws. And quickly into the front court, jump shot again early in the clock. Put up no good. This time by Morel Schramm. McCaffrey shooting in transition for Iowa. Took a, took a lap around the rim and came out. Would have been a three. Doesn't fall. And it's still 40 to 15, Hawkeyes. 2.13 to play in the first half. Crossover dribble, nice move. Gets to the basket, then throws to the corner. Parker to Keith Lamar. Lamar doesn't want it. Hands it off to Roderick Coffey. Puts his head down, drives into a double team. Now finds a teammate on the wing, and a three is good by Keith Lamar. That was almost out of desperation. Minute 50 to play in the half. Sanford running. Finds an open teammate. McCaffrey for three. It is no good. Patrick misses. Both teams are shooting as soon as they get their hands on the ball. Now an outlet steal by Patrick McCaffrey to Patrick or to uh, Peyton Sanford. Peyton finds an open teammate in Cricky near corner. Out front McCaffrey. Here's a three by Perkins. Rims and comes out. No good. Uh, Freeman fighting, but he was outnumbered. And we're rebounding and running the other way. Roderick Coffey. Coffey. Left-handed dribble. Waits for a teammate to come get the ball. It's Kajai Parker right back inside it goes. Jump shot up no good by Chase Mars. Cleared out by Cricky. Ben's going to bring it down the floor himself. A minute 10 to go. Breakneck speed here. Lob back door. Dunk. Oh, he missed the dunk. Owen Freeman blew the bunny on a back iron carom, and he's... I don't know if he's uh, more he upset up with himself enough. or just embarrassed. Yeah. He won't miss more in many of those. Boy, I tell you, he is wide open. So good getting off the floor with his time leap. He was too wide open, I guess you could say. Just didn't have enough lift on that one. <laughs> Foul on the Hawkeyes on the outlet pass. So Tony with a minute Perkins. on Perkins, okay. <laughs> Owen. He won't let that bother him. He'll be coming back looking for more. He's had a terrific first half. Seven points, five rebounds. 51 seconds to play in the half. And the Hawks out in front by 22. Nope, shot fake. Now a deep three on the way. In and out. No good. Rebounded by, or shot up by Roderick Coffey. And a foul called on the rebound. Free throws coming for Owen. Chase Bars will have a couple free throws. They'll... Both teams pretty well sucking air here. Going up and walk, down, aren't walk they? to the end of the other end of the floor, and they'll take their time. At the Gamer at Home, Wimmer's premium quality hot dogs and sausages. Score with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork, combine it with natural spices, and you get the best tasting hot dog. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. 
Freeman misses the first free throw. He'll get another. Stay tuned for our halftime coverage brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light, a proud sponsor of the Hawks. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Bud Light. Oh, and second one is right through. Slaps himself in the side of the head <laughs> for missing that first free throw. He takes this game serious. Oh, yeah, that's what we love about him. Half a minute to All go. business. Till the break. He is. Great young guy, though. Fun to talk to. Very articulate. 22 on the game clock, 10 on the shot clock. Fox will have one last look, we assume. Here's Parker, five on the shot clock. They're still out well beyond the three-point line. Now a drive, a scoop layup is no good. Scraped away by Parker, but he loses it right to a Florida A&M, and the Rattler lays it up and in. The person of Chase Bars. Owen Freeman working hard. Timeout asked for by Fran McCaffrey. Owen had the rebound, couldn't quite secure it. And it was taken away by Bars, and he laid it up and in. A little garbage basket for Chase Bars. 41-20 Iowa with 5.7 to play in the first half. Hey, if you uh, or someone you know needs support this holiday season, please call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. You can chat online at 988lifeline.org. Or call or text 988. Someone's there to help you. And join us for our Hawk Talk Bowl preview show down in Orlando, swarming to the Citrus live on December 31st, 1 until 2.30, New Year's Eve afternoon Central Time, from the pub at Point Orlando. All right, the Hawks have five seconds before the half. In it comes to Cricky, right back to Peyton Sanford. Peyton all the way, lost it as he was going up for the shot. Ball is... Out of bounds, half a second to play, got time for a tip. Catch and shoot, I think you have plenty of time. Point three, inside point three is the tip. And they're guarding that paint. Here comes the lob, Freeman up and in. And at the buzzer. Oh, they got a foul called, or do they? No, nope, D DJ Carson just emphatically saying, yes, that counts. What a half for Owen Freeman. That makes up for the missed dunk. Absolutely. That's we'll an athletic them. play right there. In traffic, catch it, and get it up there quick with .5 on the clock. Well, everybody in the building, including Florida A&M, knew what was coming. Cricky and Freeman both in there. Uh, in all that traffic, they were sagging all five guys inside. And uh, good job. who threw that inbounds? That was a, was that Tony? Assist by Perkins. Yep. A five beautiful, assists perfect in lob half. inside. Hi, Jim. Jim Carney. Our buddy Jim Carney from Des Moines uh, stopping by, a patting us on the headset. But a beautifully timed leap by Owen Freeman gets Iowa big basket as the half comes to an end. The Hawks lead it 43 to 20. 43 20. They are reviewing that shot to make sure that the. Got to be good. The shot clock buzzer did not go off. I thought he got it off in time. He did catch it and lay it up and in. And D.J. Carstens has said, no question, it's good. But they're reviewing it. All plays under review are sponsored by Athletico. Physical therapy is the thing you're told to do after medication, x-rays, or surgery. But what if the best way to fix your pain is to start where you normally finish? The sooner you start with physical therapy, you change everything. And it all starts with no prescription needed at Athletico. Uh, Count it. They did count it. All right. 43 20 at the half. That's the score. Iowa leading Florida AM. Stay with us for the first half recap of the Bud Light halftime show. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. 
Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. This has been the well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield first half on the Hawkeye Sports Network. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Welcome back to Halftime. Festive atmosphere here at Wells Fargo Arena. The Hawkeyes dominate the first half to the tune of 43-20 over Florida A&M. And Bobby, the big story is uh, the defense. 9 of 30 is Florida A&M. That's uh, just a biscuit over 30%. And it started right at the onset. Right from the get-go, Gary. No doubt about it. You could see the energy that these kids were bringing. And then when the second unit came out, they really upped the energy. They they extended the pressure to uh, full court, three-quarter court pressure, and turned over uh, the the Rattlers. And uh, just like everybody got into the act. So that's good to see. And then the offense is good. Shoot 51%. Three point, uh, got a couple of threes to drop there. So, yeah, this is a, uh, a good chance to show the people here in Des Moines that uh, last week was a fluke. That we're, we're not that, not that way. We're not going to lose games like that. And we're going to come out and play some D and rebound. I like the rebound numbers, Gary. Look at that. 21 16 in favor of the Hawks. Yes, and uh, has a lot to do with Owen Freeman, who's got 10.6 boards to lead Iowa in both areas. Uh, it's nice uh, to see the freshman continue to mature like that. Man, he's taken his second start and run with it. Yeah, he really has. He's only going to get better and better. And Fran talks about it. You know, just just need to relax, settle in, and uh, let the game come to you and attack the glass. That's exactly what Owen's doing. And the guys are looking for him, too. He's got such good hands, catches in traffic, and uh, he's got good touch around the basket. Our stat recap is coming up shortly, courtesy of High V. Let's check out the free throws in the first half. Latham Seeds, charity stripe recap. See how the Hawks did from the foul line. Uh, they got there. They got the bonus uh, early and then uh, in the double bonus. And for the first half, Iowa shoots 13 free throws, making eight. A little over 61.5%. They'll improve on that because they're going to end up at the line a lot more in the second half. Uh, Florida, Florida A&M, even better, did not shoot a free throw in the first half. That's really good defense. Yeah, and they played really good defense. The Hawks did have five fouls, but they had none for a good portion of the uh, of the first half. They're just playing intense defense and rebounding the basketball. So keep it up here in the second half. Eight of 13 for the Hawks. That's the charity stripe recap sponsored by Latham High Tech Seeds. The Hawks have a diverse combination of talent and at Latham High Tech Seeds you'll find the most diverse portfolio in the industry. Diversify for success at LathamSeeds.com Iowa leading 43-20 at the break. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms and more. Yep, we're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, coming through! 
or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Let's be honest. We all like to be noticed. Picture yourself striding into Kinnick Stadium, radiating both style and comfort, while fellow Hawkeye fans can't help but ask, where'd you get that shirt? With pride, you point to the big screen and reply, it's authentic brand. Discover the remarkable difference that apparel with the authentic brand label brings. Ask for it by name at your favorite boutique, spirit shop, or retailer. Or shop online at authentic-brand.com. It's time for a change in your style. It's time for authentic brand. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called? It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Hawkeyes with the lead 43-20 at halftime over Florida A&M. Welcome back to our Bud Light halftime show. Let's take a look at the stats courtesy of Hy-Vee. Score big savings with the all-new totally free Hy-Vee Perks membership. This is the Hy-Vee Hawkeye Classic sponsored by Hy-Vee. Iowa in the first half shot 51.5%. 16 of 31. A lot of those are drive and scores uh, in the paint. Iowa with 22 paint scores in the first half to just 12 for the uh, Florida A&M Rattlers. Iowa got to the foul line 13 times, made 8. Led in scoring by Owen Freeman. The young post uh, was running wild in the lane. 10 points. Also, Iowa's leading board man at 6. Tony Perkins with 7 points, 5 assists in that first half. 7 points for Laji Dembele off the bench. 5 for Peyton Sanford, five for DeSante Bowen, three each for Patrick McCaffrey and Ben Cricky. Cricky hasn't even gotten going yet, and the Hawks are up 23. For Florida A&M, they shoot just 30%. The Hawkeyes turned them over 10 times. Really outstanding hands defense in that first half. Ten turnovers forced on Florida A&M. They shoot nine of 30 from the field. Just two three-point goals. They only got five looks from distance and did not get to the foul line. That is outstanding defense by Iowa. The Hawks out rebounded the Rattlers 21 to 12. Each team with four offensive turnovers. Iowa had uh, just five in that first half. Ten by Florida A&M. Points off turnovers, 8-4 in favor of Iowa. Second chance points, 8-4 in favor of Iowa. The Hawkeye bench has outscored Florida A&M 15-10. The Hawks' uh, biggest lead was 25. They lead by 23 at the break, 43-20. That's our high V halftime stat recap. And more Budweiser, Bud Light halftime show coming up from Des Moines at Wells Fargo Arena. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Oh, oh, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. When the game goes into overtime. But. The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Not all internet is created equal. It's a lot like choosing a quarterback. Technically, you could sign up any new rookie provider on the block, but the success of every device in your home depends on it. Will they perform in the clutch or will they buffer under pressure? Extreme provides the speed you need with a 100% gigabit technology network and amplified Wi-Fi. And unlike signing a quarterback, Extreme internet requires no contracts. There's only one pick to lead your team. It's Extreme, powered by Mediacom. 
When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. Welcome back to our coverage of Iowa, Florida. A&M, the Hawkeyes with a 23-point lead, 43-20 at the break. A few minutes away from the start of the second half. Let's check the rest of the finals we have on the U.S. Bank scoreboard. Big Ten teams in action. Georgia Tech ambushed Penn State in overtime, 82-81. Number two, Kansas rallied to clip Indiana, 75-71. It was Rutgers beating up Long Island, 83-61. Michigan State pummeled sixth-ranked Baylor, 88-64. It was Ohio State outlasting UCLA in the CBS Sports Classic, 67-60. At the half, third-ranked Purdue... Edie had got to be having a good day. Big Zach, 49-38. Purdue leads number one ranked Arizona at the half. Later, Northwestern is at DePaul. Hawkeye women's basketball tonight follows our game here at Wells Fargo as Iowa faces Cleveland State, the third-ranked Hawkeyes. Now around the country, 19th-ranked Texas beat LSU by 20. Number 24, Miami, a winner over LaSalle. James Madison, ranked 20th, defeated Hampton by 17. Fourth-ranked Houston, a winner over Texas A&M by 4. And Memphis upset number 13, Clemson, 79-77. Midway through the uh, second half, Florida Atlantic leads St. Bonaventure. Bowl scores. It was Florida A&M over Howard, 30-26. to The New Orleans Bowl is Jacksonville State, Louisiana. Louisiana by a touchdown late in the fourth quarter. The Myrtle Beach Bowl, Ohio 41, Georgia Southern 21. That is a final. And in the Cure Bowl, it is uh, Appy State 6, Miami of Ohio 3 in the third quarter. That's our U.S. Bank scoreboard update. Bobby with an assistant coach next here. Uh, at halftime, Iowa leads 43-20 over Florida A&M. This is Hawkeye basketball from Lear field hey everyone chef brandon here the burger shed features signature handcrafted burgers real ice cream shakes and machine shed classics you already know and love like the award-winning pork tenderloin and smoked turkey reuben sandwiches plus everyone's favorite dessert the apple dumpling with plenty of big screen tvs and several local beers on draft burger shed is the perfect place to watch your favorite sports team on game day and every day burgers beers and a whole bunch of bs burger shed bass pro drive altoona Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Let's go to Bobby. He's got uh, Coach uh, Courtney Eldridge uh, alongside. He had the scout on today's Iowa-Florida A&M game. He's brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers, including P&K Midwest and Maquoketa. Continue to get back. 
Courtney, terrific first half of basketball by the Hawkeyes. I really like the way you came out with defensive energy. What'd you see? Uh, Bob, I mean, we, we talked about changing the narrative, man. We had a, a bad week last week, and we talked about some things that we wanted to change going forward. And I think that was the that was the focus for today. That was the message for today. And then I think the guys came out in the first half um, and executed that to, to perfection. What, do you, what can you uh, tell us the keys to the second half? Your same energy? Keep the same energy. And right now we're working on ourselves in this last 20 minutes, right? We're not playing the score. We want to continue to get better in, uh, as we prepare for what's to come the rest of the season. Okay, thanks, Coach. No problem. Thanks, man. Bobby with assistant coach Courtney Eldridge. Tony Perkins gets a dunk on a nice baseline back cut to start the second half. And the Hawkeyes extend the lead to its widest margin, their widest margin, 45-20. Bobby's visit with Courtney brought to you by your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Hawkeye basketball. So with that 25-point lead, the Hawks look to play more solid defense. Here's a fourth shot from the corner that goes down. Nice looking shot. Parker, by, he finally gets one to go. Kajai Parker, 10 points, good three-point shooter. 92% from the foul line, but he buried that one with a hand in his face. Just their, uh, is that their first three or their second three? It's third three. He's got two of them. Third three for Florida AM. Here's McCaffrey. Nice shot fake, drives inside and scores. 6'10", driving to the basket and got undercut on his way up. Count the hoop and Patrick will try and complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way with the and one. The drive by Patrick under control and the defender slid underneath him. Called for the block. Foul on Grant. He hits third. Patrick with five points and now the free throw. 47-23 Hawkeyes. Second half just underway. The third ranked Hawkeye women to play after this game. Big doubleheader for the holidays in the capital city. Free throws up and no good. Crawls off the right side of the iron. Freeman had the rebound over a much smaller guard and then that smaller guard 6'4 Lewis Junes has it pried away from Freeman but off of Junes out of bounds. Those are the plays that don't show up in the scorebook Bobby. Also play did not give up on the on the uh, rebound there. Owen Freeman got above him didn't foul and forced the Rattlers to knock it out of bounds. Peyton Sanford gathers the inbounds goes right back to Cricky for the dunk. Ben Cricky with the slam down. A couple dunks for the Hawks to start the second half. 49-23. Perkins with a poke away. Get another one. Yeah, almost stole the dribble. Retrieved by Kajai Parker. He races into the front court to Lamar on the wing. His three is no good. They're settling for long jumpers. Cricky skies for the rebound. To half court and Sanford. Hawks putting the pressure on. Sanford throws it away. Perkins went one way and Peyton went the other. He saw him out of the corner of his eye. But by the time he committed the pass, Tony had gone in the opposite direction. A lot of times when a guy's driving like that, Gary, if you're a shooter, you want to fade to the corner and not come back here against the guy's body. So Tony's two players got to get on the same page. He would have had a wide open jumper far left corner. He would have either way in the corner or on the wing. Lewis Junes throws to a teammate on the wing and a long three is offered again. No good by Roderick Coffey. One and done. Here's Cricky back for the Hawkeyes. May have got away with a walk. Rebound off the miss shot by Cricky is grabbed by Owen Freeman to Perkins in front of the Iowa bench. He drives into heavy traffic and a jump ball is called as Tony drove into two defenders and was tied up by Lamar. Keith Lamar is a strong man at 6'5", 215 pounds. He just took the ball away from Tony. Jump ball called. 17.40 to play in the game. Just underway in the second half. Hawks on cruise control here. 49-23. Lamar, Lewis Junes. Now leaves it weak side wing for Roderick Coffee. Cross court feet. Here's another lob three. This one goes down. Thrown in by Hans Lewis Junes out of Lake Worth, Florida, at Northwest Kansas Technical College. His Frank, first hoop of the night. Try and get that on your calling card. Yeah, and he's a good shooter. As is Owen Freeman, who drains a long two. Top of the circle. That's 6'10", shooting that baby. Yeah, that, that's a big-time shot right there from a kid. That'll get you in the NBA right there if you can knock down that 18-footer. 51-26, Iowa over Florida A&M. 
Another big 6'10", 6'11", guy that could shoot was in this building last night. Here's a drive and a score high off the glass from the weak side by Keith Lamar. Our buddy Luca Garza was here with the Iowa Wolves. Threw in 39 here at the <laughs> They Wells. can't stop him. He's too good for that league. Now Luca, I don't, he might be here today if they have an off day. Here's a foul called on Florida A&M. Patrick McCaffrey really aggressive to start the second half. Yeah, he's been aggressive this whole game. Good to see Patrick attacking, not settling for that long jump shot, but putting the ball on the floor, playing off two feet and attacking the basket. Did not catch who that foul was Lamar, on. Keith Lamar, on his Keith first. Lamar. Okay. Patrick will get two. Iowa's lead is 51-28. Makes the first one. Join the Iowa Lottery VIP Club and enter to win game day tickets to see Hawkeye men's basketball with the countdown to Carver promotion. Play Hawkeye gold scratch tickets today. Second free throw rolls off. The Hawks in a neutral zone, neutral floor setting. Not anywhere near their average. Here's a shoving foul on Cricky in the back. As he got both hands on Shannon Grant, their 6'10 post. It'll be a Florida AM ball underneath the basket. For the Rattlers, Love Bettis returns and uh, Coffee. Roderick Coffee comes out. 16 20 to play. Pass out front for Lamar. To Love Bettis. He's their leading scorer, 15 points a game, but he, he's been all wrapped up by the Hawkeye defense. Iowa's in his zone, it looks like. There's a drive from the left wing in, shot blocked away. Cricky got a piece of it. Freeman comes away with a loose ball. McCaffrey to Perkins, shooting a three in transition. Good. Tony's got that shot. He does when he gets his feet set there. And good find and good defense there by Owen Freeman, though, to block that shot. And the run out leads to the three by Tony. A dozen for uh, TP. Iowa's lead is 55 28, their biggest of the afternoon. 15 38 to play. Standstill jumper is no good. Left side offered up by Kajai Parker. Uh, the Hawks almost lost it. Ben Cricky runs it down. He's going to have a. A shin mark after sliding on the floor. And Peyton Sanford hits a three. Well, part of that goes to Cricky for saving the ball from going out of bounds. Chased it down. Good hustle by Ben Cricky. Never gave up on the play. And Peyton spotting up far right wing. Another wild three. shot inside by Lewis June. And we're heading the other way. Iowa's lead 58-28. Patrick McCaffrey with a shot fake. Peyton Sanford, first long-range jumper since early in the game. Here's Owen Freeman with a one-handed jump shot. No good in the lane. Had a great look at it. Missed it. And Peyton Sanford uh, is Cramp. gimpy as he's running down to the other end. Shot blocked away inside by either Freeman or Tony. Cricky or both. Picked up now the ball. Loose ball picked up by Sanford. And Peyton pitched it over the head of Patrick McCaffrey. Sanford is upset with himself. You think it was a cramp? Yeah, he, he let the bench know that he's fine. He grabbed that calf. Matt, Matt Matt Gaines, working hard. He is. Matt Gaines comes out and says, settle down, my friend. <laughs> you got to slow Let's down. Just relax. Uh, we are up 30. 58-28. <laughs> we don't need any further injuries uh, beyond a cramp. 7-0 no. run, though, no, by the Hawks in the last minute and a half. Sanford really playing hard, as all the Hawks are. It's 58-28 Iowa, five minutes deep in the second half. Hey, Hawk fans, here's a lineup that's ready to throw it down. The Honda HRV, CRV, Passport, and Pilot. They're all ready to pounce. See your central Midwest Honda dealer. Visit great dealers like Brad Deary Honda in West Burlington. Say hi to Brad Deary and Brad Deary Honda. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield, courtesy of Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the better check that business out first so you don't get ripped off bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. 
Hey folks, this is Jeff Grinder from The Machine Shed. We're all about comfort food at The Machine Shed. Indulge in our classic fried chicken, which is prepared with our own secret spices. Our Try Our Cattleman Sirloin Tips. Featuring certified Angus beef, served with our famous mushroom stuffing that has onions and Swiss cheese. All topped with a garlic herb sauce. Come experience the taste of home cooking at the Machine Shed. I-80 in Hickman Road, Urbandale. And I-80 in Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep, we're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. Hawkeyes 58, Florida AM 28. I always been working hard since they get off the bus here, especially at the defensive end. At Wells Fargo, Florida A&M is 22 of 39. They average a little over uh, around six threes a game. They've got four. Hawks are shooting 22 of 39. 56% Florida A&M, 12 of 39. That's just a little over 30%. Great defense, good shooting. Hawks have put it all together here, and they're winning the rebounding battle as well. Here's a pass mishandled in the lane by A&M, uh, A&M's Barnes. He gets it back. Shot from the top of the key. Left side, no good. Offered up by Jordan Chapman, and the Hawks are running. And a goaltending call. Peyton Sanford will get credit for the basket off the uh, illegal block by Hans Luis Junes. Good look ahead, though. Tony Perkins, his assist numbers have risen. He's got seven assists, five rebounds, and 12 points. That's a pretty good stat line there. Tony's capable of that every night out. Here's a jump pass right of the lane. Jump shot, nope, jump pass to the corner. A three ball, no good. Offered up by Lewis Junes as Chase Bars gave the ball up when he had the jump shot. Here's Perkins. Wraparound pass from Freeman. Peyton Sanford in the corner, now to Cricky inside. Lost his balance, got, got it to Sanford, who swishes a three. Catch and release there. He had a good pass by Patrick uh, McCaffrey to give up his shot for a wide open. Peyton Sanford in the right corner, 13 points for Peyton. Cricky and McCaffrey hooking up with good passes, and they find Sanford for three. Now K.J. Parker with a shot that goes in off the square. Quick shooting in the clock. Here's Sanford for three more. That one was touched. That one was scraped by a defender, but right to Owen Freeman, who lays it up and in. The guy just knows where the ball is going to be. Nice block uh, by Chase Bars. He got a part of that Sanford three, and it fell right into the lap of Owen Freeman. Now foul on Peyton Sanford. Let me that on Peyton. Two. Just two, okay. As... Uh, the relief troops arrive. Josh Dix, Lodgy Dembele, Price Sanford, Asante Bowen, and Brock Harding. I like this smaller lineup in the first half. They're going to get some extended minutes here, too. They are. Up 65-30 is Iowa. Hawks by 35 with 13.04 to play in the game. Lob out near the timeline. Grabbed by Jordan Chapman. And we play on 14 to shoot. Lewis Junes. Well, here's a wild three attempt from deep in the left wing by KJ Parker. I guess they call it KJ. It's spelled KJ. Price Sanford knocked to the floor as he lets a three go. No good. Lewis Junes with a rebound. He's got one man to beat Josh Dix. Shot is up. No good, but a foul called on Iowa. Raji crushed him. He's getting that Lodgy, up there. Lodgy says, get that out of here. Mm -hmm. That's not going down from that close to the rim. So Lewis Junes pays for it, but he'll get two free throws. The exciting moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for it all as your health care champion, making health care more affordable with more choices for care and peace of mind. No matter what comes your way, find the plan right for you at wellmark.com slash hoops. Wellmark dot com slash hoops. June's free throw is good. 65 31 in Iowa. It's not going to get any more pleasant for the Rattlers tomorrow when they drive up I 35 to Hilton Coliseum and play the Cyclones. Second free throw curls in by Lewis June's. First free throws of the afternoon. Florida AM. 
earned with them. Yeah. He <laughs> Great point. The first two were well earned. 65-32 Iowa. We'll get Josh Dix a basket here. 12 and a half to go. Josh tried to do a one too many turns and lost the ball. They slapped a double team on him and a run out and a score by Lewis Jones. Bryce Sanford immediately inbounds to Brock Hardy. Florida A&M tightening up the uh, perimeter defense a little bit. Bowen to Dix. 65-34 Iowa. Sonny Bowen is crowded along the baseline and a foul called on on Florida A&M. Timeout on the floor of the 11.56 to play in the first half, or in the ball game, excuse me. Hey, nothing goes better with Hawkeye Sports than Wimmer's Meats. Wimmer's hot dogs and sausages deliver the home game experience to your family and friends. Wimmer's, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification from Des Moines and Wells Fargo Arena where the Hawkeyes lead Florida A&M 65-34. Let's take a 10-second station ID. This is Iowa Hawkeye Basketball. We're coming right back to Wells Fargo Arena. The Hawks uh, in command have led from the get-go and lead it by 31. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by well-marked Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. Your husband is pretty handy to have around. He makes the world's best mac and cheese. Lunch is ready. He's in the Tickle Monster Hall of Fame. <laughs> and he can teach anyone how to throw strikes. But a busted pipe and a basement full of water? Honey, I think we need a plumber. He's a little out of his league. That's where a homeowner's policy from Shelter Insurance comes in handy. We'll help get your house back in order and your husband back to what he does best. <laughs> Find an agent at shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Welcome back to the Hawks in Des Moines at Wells Fargo Arena, Iowa by 31 at 65-34 with a little more than, a little less than 12 minutes to play in the game. A good balance by Iowa. Fran has played a lot of guys, a lot of minutes. 14 points for Owen Freeman, 13 for Peyton Sanford, dozen for Tony Perkins. How about Perkins? 12.7 assists, 5 rebounds. Owen Freeman has a double-double, 14 and 11. Lodgy Dembele's look good off the bench. A couple baskets. Lodgy with uh, seven total points. A couple rebounds, a couple steals. How about the second half for the Hawkeyes? Nine of 13, almost 70% shooting to start the half. Looking a lot better than that three-game losing streak. Here's a great pass from Brock Harding to Josh Dixon. Dix just couldn't talk it down. Flipped it up there maybe a little too quick, anticipating contact. Josh struggling with his shot of late, but it'll come around. Here's a jump hook good in the lane by the big fella for Florida A&M. Off the rebound. Lucky number 13, Shannon Grant gets a basket. 6'10", 300 pounds. Previously at Mercer University. 65-36 Iowa. Hardick turns the corner. A scoop layup is good. Two-handed little underhanded, two-handed scoop layup. Brock Harding, he is acrobatic with the ball in his hands. He looked like an acrobat on that one as he hung in the air and kept his feet in the air, and he flipped that up with the left hand, got the good, kind English, the kiss off the glass for a basket. Lodgy Dembele rebounds a quick shot and a miss by K.J. Parker for 
Florida A&M. And comes right back with another rebound. Iowa 67, A&M 36. Hardy gets a screen from Lodgy. Hook pass on the wing to Bowen. He's open, but passes up the shot. Gets to the basket, up and good. Off the glass with three on the shot clock. Asante feeling he could beat his man off the dribble drive, and he sure did. Really did, yeah. One-on-one -on -one move, got into the paint there, and get hung in the air, showed good strength, and took the hit and the basket. Seven points for DeSante Bowen. K.J. Parker dribbling around, throws it to the wing. Now an entry pass knocked away from Shannon Grant. Dembele comes up with the ball, and timeout, timeout is asked for by Iowa. So we'll take a full time out here. Come back in just a minute. I think Shannon Grant is a little slow to get up. Well, I guess it takes a while to get 300 pounds up off the floor, doesn't it? He's working hard, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't been there yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Throughout the Iowa Corn Cyhawk series, Iowa Corn promotes values that are uniquely Iowan. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, we salute all athletes for their hard work and determination, both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook to learn how corn grows Iowa. Iowa Corn. This is Hawkeye Basketball, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called. It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Do you trust your insurance agent? Do you trust your insurance company? Well, you'd better. Because all they've really sold you is a promise. A promise to be there when things go bad. To step up and put everything back the way it was. So, if you don't trust your insurance company, maybe it's time to find one you do trust. West Bend. The worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called? It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Places uh, filling up. There were only a few empty seats when the men's game started. Huge crowd anticipating. Caitlin Clark. And the third-ranked Hawkeyes tip off at six. This building holds around 15,000 for basketball. Every seat will be is either occupied or will be shortly. Congratulations to Hawkeye field hockey players Esme Gibson and Dion Van Olsen, named All-Americans this week. Another great year for the Hawkeye field hockey team. Van Olsen, freshman Van Olsen, was freshman of the year and led the nation with 28 goals and 62 points. That's amazing. Speaking of points, well, Price Sanford had a layup attempt blocked on a nice pass by Harding as we get back to action. And Iowa leading Florida A&M 69-36. Here's a corner three that's good by K.J. Parker. His Check first. that. Love Bettis. Love Bettis. Bettis. Okay. Yeah. Correct that. My, my bad. Love Bettis with the stroke from the far corner. Harding tries to match it and does. Rock Harding putting together another nice floor game, Bobby. He certainly is, yeah. He, he needs minutes is what he needs, and he's a very confident young player, and you get that stroke going, it's a good sign for the Hawks. 72-39, Iowa. They throw it inside. Grant misses the uh, jump shot. Sandwich between two Hawkeyes and a bumping foul called on Iowa. Looks like they're going to get Lodgy Dembele. Two free throws coming. For the big guy, Shannon Grant. Oh, no, they're going to take it out of bounds. The DJ signaled two free throws, and Edwin Young overruled him. In it comes. Bettis 
fakes the shot, goes into the corner to a teammate, and his three ball rims and comes out. And away. Jordan Chatham on the miss. Harding back with a cat quickness, finds an open teammate. Price Sanford hits a three. So both the Sanford boys have represented Wal Waukee well today with long range jumpers. Absolutely. And Price, that's his first basket of the uh, game for him. And everybody's in a scorebook now, but Josh Dix, got to get him one. 75 39. Here's a long three. No good. Way out on the left wing, offered up by Love Bettis. Not a shot he's met that he doesn't like. Here's Bowen all the way back himself. Hooks a pass to Sanford on the wing. Price going for two in a row. Misses. Took a lap around the iron and off. And a foul, reach in foul on Brock Harding. As Miles Hall, a sophomore from Windermere, Florida, tried to get the break going. 8.36 to play in the game. Substitution coming in, uh, Jordan Chatham. Chapman, excuse me, will check out. And he's replaced by Keith Lamar in the lineup. Now another sub. K.J. Parker will enter for coffee. Not a coffee, but for Roderick Coffee. 8.36 to go. Iowa will get win number six on the afternoon, leading 75-39. And the Rattlers running a, a little three-man weave out top. Grant, the big fella, comes out, stumbles to the floor as he gets rid of the pass to Love Bettis. To Love Bet, yeah, Bettis. Lamar back to Bettis. Two to shoot. They get rid of it just as the buzzer goes off. Missed jump shot by K.J. Parker. Hawks are running. Here's Nabelli. Look out below. Slam dunk. Well, that kid loves to get out and go, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. That's when, that's when they look good, man. When they can get the rebound and run, that was one of our keys to the game. And Hawks have certainly played into that. And Laje Dembele with that freshman energy with the slam. At 240 pounds, he's packing, racing down the floor. Price Sanford nearly a steal, a pass deflection, but then right to an opponent. And Love Bettis strokes a 17-foot jump shot. 77-39, Iowa. Bowen and Harding, Dix, Price Sanford, and Lodgy Dembele on the floor. 7.23 to play. Bowen drives in between a double team, has the ball stripped and taken away. Rare turnover on the Hawkeyes. Back quickly comes Miles Hall. Lanky 6'4 sophomore. Shot blocked by Bowen from behind. As Hall hits the deck, Harding for three in transition, no good. Quick shooting was uh, Harding and the Hawks, and they hustle back on defense. After a nice block by DeSante Bowen. Here's a pass right of the lane. Lamar shot up. No good. Off glass. Price Sanford clears. Both teams expending a lot of energy. Price shooting a three in transition. That's short. Falls right into the lap of Josh Dix. He there scores. We go. Off the glass and in. Everybody scored now. There for the we Hawks. go. Back quickly as K.J. Parker takes Dix in deep. Shot fake. Got Josh off his, off his feet, and he runs into Parker. Two free throws coming when we return. 6.34 to play in the game. And there'll be a lot of fresh bodies coming in now. 79-41. Iowa has the lead at 38. 79-41, 6.34 to go in the game here in Des Moines at the Wells Fargo Arena. If you or someone you know needs support now, please call or text 988. Call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. That's 988lifeline.org. Someone is there to help you. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield, courtesy of Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. When the game goes into overtime, But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line 
the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Have you heard about this new type of television experience from Epson? It's called the Epic Vision Ultra Laser Projection TV. It combines a new type of laser projection technology along with a unique Epson Silverflex screen to produce an epic 120-inch 4K Pro UHD picture that's up to four times bigger than a traditional 60-inch TV. There's no better way to watch live sports, and watching Iowa basketball play live on this big, bright TV is simply awesome. If you're a sports fanatic like me, you need to check this new Epson TV out for yourself. Visit Epson.com TV to learn more. 79-41, 636 to go in the game here at Wells Fargo Arena. The Hawkeye men on top, 79-41. The women to take on 9-1 and one Cleveland State. That's coming up next on uh, select Hawkeye Radio Network stations with, with Rob and Tiffany. Well, there's still time to stuff that stocking uh, with uh, authentic brand gear. They've got a great line of new mini sports balls out there, rally towels. They even have golf club covers at authentic-brand.com. And, of course, with the uh, along with the normal uh, pullover tees, your favorite uh, school jerseys, Authentic Brand. Don't settle for ordinary with your company's apparel. Say hello to a new standard of style known as Authentic Brand. It's not just a label, it's a lifestyle. From sleek office essentials to laid-back everyday wear and a lot of accessories, Authentic Brand is the label for you. Parker at the line. Misses. He missed both? Made one. Made one, missed one. All right. And he's a 92% free thrower. But in this neutral setting, of course, anything can happen. Hawkeyes have been hot, though, from the field. Here's Evan Bronze just into the game, and he throws it away. Unforced error there. The Hawkeyes have 10 turnovers on the afternoon. 12 turnovers on Florida A&M. K.J. Parker to Lamar. And try to lob back door. Bronze with a steal. Picked off a pass intended for their big guy. And here are the Hawkeyes back. Bowen shooting in transition. Misses the three. And we're running back the other way. Here's a shot up. No good. Blocked out of bounds by Brock Harding. He blocked down on Hall. Miles Hall. Nice job. Defensive yeah. retreat. Right place, right time. Take, get that out of here. All 6-3. Brock Harding can get off the floor. A turnover. Uh, and here's another turnover. A throwaway. Brock Harding all the way. Lays it up and in. What body control he has when he's off the ground. Ten points now for Brock Harding and uh, playing with tremendous amount of confidence. 81-42. Hawks score off the 13th turnover. Make it the 14th turnover. Now another quick shot. The clock and... Miss, and I was back looking for more. Dix hits a three. The Hawks are lighting it up. That's nine threes for Iowa in 23 attempts. Florida A&M gives up about 10, 10 and a half a game. So the Hawks have got the big lead early with three-point shooting. And they haven't needed many threes since then. Carter Kingsbury, by the way, is in the game for Iowa. Another missed shot. This time by Roderick Coffey is back in the game, and the Hawks get the rebound. Harding with a shot fake. Now a step back three. No good. Looked good on the way. Here's a foul on Big Evan Bronze as he's <laughs> clearing bodies out of the lane, and Chase Bars is a little woozy for it. Now, Bars is 6'9", 230, but he... I mean, he looks like a, a jockey compared to Evan Bronze. Brown's a big man. He broad sure shoulders. Is. Very broad. Muscular. 17 fouls on Iowa. So that means the one and one Should coming be. up here. There's a discussion at the scorer's table. We don't need any more delays with this thing well in hand. 84-42 Iowa. Bronze. Jovan Cater, Carter Kingsbury, Luke Laquetta, and Spencer Hutchison now in the game for the Hawkeyes. Free throws coming for 
Bars, Chase Bars, one and one, misses the front end. Evans, uh, Braun had the rebound, had it stripped away. Shot up no good by Florida A&M, rebounded by uh, uh, Roderick Coffey. Here's a jump shot from the corner offered up by K.J. Parker, no good. So the Hawks avoid any damage there. Good rebounding sequence by Florida A&M, but nothing to show for it. So the walk odds are in there to finish this up with four and a half to play. Spencer Hutchison with the ball to Luke Laquetta. Carter Kingsbury shot blocked. He's knocked to the floor. Carter's slow to get up, favoring his right knee. He looks to be okay. Here's a drive and a missed layup and a foul called on the Hawkeyes. Carter Kingsbury limping around. He got knocked to the floor pretty hard. He might have just banged his knee off the hardwood. Actually, he's looking at his right ankle or feeling it. Don't get hurt. Don't need that. Now when you're Anybody. up by 40. Mm -hmm. Javon Cater, a 6'2 senior from played at Holy Cross out of Rockaway, New Jersey, transferred into Iowa City. Free throws missed by Florida A&M. They haven't been there often today. Keith Lamar misfires on the first. Just three out of six are the uh, Rattlers. Second free throw is good. 84-43. Hawkeyes will be six and five when the smoke clears and playing uh, Maryland Baltimore County at Carver Hawkeye Arena next Wednesday night. Come on out and catch the Hawks. Here's uh, Jovan Cater. Drives into traffic. Gives it to Lakeda in the wing. Cross court feed for Kingsbury. He wants Evan Bronze, but they're front and Big E. Here's a shot as the shot clock is winding down. No good by Spencer Hutchison, 6'4", redshirt freshman from Dallas, Texas. Now a steal by the Hawkeyes. Javon Cater. And a foul called on uh, Florida A&M. Come to an official's timeout on the floor. 84-43, good guys. We'll be back with the closing minutes here from Wells Fargo Arena in just a minute. Now's your chance to make a difference, Hawk fans. Join the swarm and partner with Iowa men's basketball and serving charities in eastern Iowa. Had a nice get-together last night for the Iowa swarm out at the uh, Foundry Brewery Company here in uh, Des Moines. Scott Bush, Andrew Tome, big supporters of Hawkeye basketball. Learn more at iowaswarm.com, iowaswarm.com. Well, Mark, Blue Cross Blue Shield brings you Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today. For the best home comfort system you can buy, it's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash corn grows Iowa. Free throws coming for uh, Jovan Cater of the Hawkeyes when play resumes. Actually, they're uh, they're not in the bonus then. They're not in the bonus. It'll be Iowa basketball. 
And pressuring full court are the Rattlers. Iowa 84, Florida A&M 43. Now a reach in foul. Spencer Hutchison split a double team and drew the personal. Foul is called uh, well, 23, Hall, not 32. Miles Hall. Here's a drive to the basket, shot blocked. And a hard foul at the other end by Iowa. After Jovan Cater's shot was blocked at one end. Morell Schramm paid for it. Will shoot two free throws at the other end, but he I'm sure he hasn't hit the floor as hard as he did there. And now the officials are gathering both teams together and say, hey, look, guys, we know that uh, this game's long been decided, but enough of the hard foul stuff, mm -hmm. which is proper. Schramm still a little woozy as he gets ready to tow the free throw line. They're giving giving him time to let the cobwebs clear. Took one right across the bridge of the nose, I think. Make your eyes water. Yeah, I think they got. Uh, is it Hutchison? Yeah. Yeah. Boy, he's Spencer's a big kid, 6'4", 200 pounds. Big body guard. It's a good job on that scout team. Yeah, Shram hit the free throw, 84-44. Second one dances in and out. Bronze with a strong rebound for Iowa. 3.13 to play in the game. Luke Laquetta crosses the timeline with the ball. Now to Cater along the sideline in front of the Hawkeye bench to Kingsbury. Lucata's open for three. Good. Luke throws up the three fingers. <laughs> Why not? Guys finally get a chance to play in front of a big house. Yeah, they're happy. Good. They're excited. 87 44. Here's Hall. Throws to the wing for Coffee, a bounce right of the lane for the big 6'10 chase bars. He goes opposite corner, a drive the baseline shot up no good, but a foul called. Miles Hall challenges the defender and draws uh, two free throws, courtesy of uh, Evan Bronze. Well, the Hawks are headed to the Citrus Bowl in Orlando, gang, here in just a couple weeks. Head to HawkeyeSports.com slash Bowl Central. You can view information on game tickets, air, travel, and hotel. Presented by our friends at Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited, Iowa's official bowl tour. Free throws good by Hall. Makes one, misses one, 87, uh, actually made them both, 87, 46. Yeah, 46 points by the Hawkeyes. Did a good job right from the beginning, Gary, defensively. They Kept did. the intensity up here in the second half and it'll look, uh, helped that defensive average out, too. It's a steal on an entry pass intended for bronze turnover on the Hawkeyes. Back come the uh, Rattlers looking to cut further into that gigantic deficit. Leaner in the lane is no good. Offered up by Roderick Coffey. The Hawks are running back the other way with two minutes to play. Laquetta turns the corner and he's fouled. Knocked off stride by Keith Lamar. And they're keeping, keeping this game under control. Free throws coming up for Luke Laquetta. Nice young guy out of Michigan. Dad played for Fran, didn't he? Yeah, I remember the story. coach as well, I think. Coach with him maybe at Notre to, Dame. I try to recruit him to Notre Dame or coach with him at Notre, Notre Dame. But Luke is uh, he's got a smile on his face. Concord, Michigan. And he gets uh, a one and one here. Now it looks uh, like we got a, a nosebleed or something. Uh, Spencer Hutchison will. Oh, he lost his shoe. That's <laughs> shoe blew out. I think <laughs> it looked like it. Looking for bigger, bolder, better yields? FS Envision Seed Corn and FS High Soy Soybeans are here to change the game. FS, our seed products deliver winning results every single time. Reach out to your local FS retailer or visit fsc.com and learn more. Miles Hall hits a jump shot off the missed free throw by Laquetta. And the lead for Iowa is 87-49 with a minute and a half to play. Bryce Sanford into the game, leans into the lane, now throws back on point to Carter Kingsbury. A nice bounce along the left side of the lane to Braun. Evans throws it away. 
Hawks have uh, turned it over with frequency here in the last couple minutes. Near steal by Price Sanford on the ball. Now a jump shot free throw line. Good by Coffey. Roderick Coffey with a basket. One minute to play in the game. It's 87-52, Iowa. Sanford shovel handoff to uh, Laquetta. The Hawks spread the floor. They've had enough points for a while. And here's a sideline violation called on Iowa. Hawkeye okay. Javon Cater was standing on the sideline when he accepted that pass from Carter Kingsbury. 47 seconds to go in the game. Iowa will be six and five after today. There's a drive in deep. Now a cutting Rattler in the person of Bars. We'll get two free throws. Chase Bars fouled by one of the Hawkeyes deep in the paint. Evan Bronze that is number four. Three, four. <laughs> Evan. The hit man. Evan, yeah. Evan Bronze. Let's see. Evan has played six minutes. Four fouls. Throwing his weight around. I've had games like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not many. Make the most of them. Not many. Free throws good by Bars. Hawks play next on uh, Wednesday night. Both free throws are good by Bars. 87-53, Hawkeyes. University of Maryland, Baltimore County at 7 o'clock. Wednesday night at Carver. 6 o'clock for our pregame coverage. And then one more game with Northern Illinois before it's back to Big Ten all the time. Hawks at Wisconsin to open the new year. 18 seconds to play in the game. The Hawks just spreading the court. And a bounce pass. Grazed the leg of uh, Bars. So it'll stay with the Hawks. Seven, seven seconds to shoot for Iowa. 16 seconds to play in the game. Stay with us for the postgame show. Coming up next, here's Laquetta. Fouled from behind for three. <laughs> Baited him into that, didn't he? Yeah, he sure did. 13.1 to go. And it looks like Miles Hall will shoulder the uh, embarrassment. 13.1 to go. Lucetta gets three free throws. Chance to get in the scorebook. Hit a three. Oh, no, that was Carter Kingsbury. No, it was Lucetta. He did hit a three, yeah. Let's see, on the day, the Hawks are 10 for 26 from three, 54% from the field, while holding Florida A&M to 31% shooting, 19 for 61, seven threes and 18 tries. Luketa misses the first two free throws. Come on, Luke, make one up. There, there you go. go. He didn't want to go over there. For that trick. <laughs> So the final seconds of the game ticking away. Coffee has a shot blocked out of bounds by Evan Bronze. Hawks have, Hawks have mounted up the block shots here in the last five or ten minutes. Six for the game. Six and 11 steals on the game. 15 turnovers for the Rattlers who will rattle their way up I-35 uh, tonight and take on the Iowa State Cyclones tomorrow. Hawkeyes win at 88-54. Solid victory after a three-game losing streak. And uh, the Hawkeyes now get ready for Maryland, Baltimore County coming up on Wednesday. 88-54, Iowa defeats Florida A&M. We're coming back with our U.S. Cellular postgame show here in just a minute on the Hawkeye Radio Network. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. You've been listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes presented by Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Also brought to you by Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist made right here in Iowa since 1895. Shelter Insurance. Find an agent for your auto, home, and life at shelterinsurance.com. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit ialottery.com for details. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. And buy. 
Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Whether you're building a backyard fence for your family's new best friend or firing up the excavator for your next commercial project, a free and simple call can save you from expensive fines and even save your life. Call 811 at least two days before you start your next project to have underground utility lines located and marked. At MidAmerican Energy, your safety is our number one priority. So make it your priority to call 811 before you dig. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. There's a Honda for every holiday adventure. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Accord and 2024 CRV. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. Join the Hawkeye Radio Network and Swarm for our Hawk Talk Bowl Preview Show. Swarming to the Citrus, live from the pub at the Point Orlando on December 31st from 1 to 2.30 p.m. Central Time. Join us for an in-depth analysis of the Hawkeyes versus the Tennessee Volunteers. Hawk fans traveling to Orlando, make sure to stop by the pub at the Point for the best fish and chips in the U.S., plus over 30 draft beers, including the Pour Your Own Beer Wall. It's the Hawk Talk Bowl Preview Show, December 31st on the Hawkeye Radio Network and the official YouTube channel of the Hawkeyes. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand. It's more than just a label, it's a statement. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. By your local Ford dealers. U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by... Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. And Wells Fargo Arena was uh, very much uh, built for the, the Hawkeyes game this afternoon as they crushed that three-game uh, losing streak into uh, oblivion with a 88-54 win over Florida A&M here at uh, the arena in downtown Des Moines, the first of two, and the Hawkeye women have trotted out onto the floor to a standing O uh, as they get set to take on Cleveland State here in about a half an hour, uh, the back end of this uh, Doubleheader, of course, featuring uh, the great Caitlin Clark. Our postgame coverage is sponsored by U.S. Cellular. This holiday season, Iowa basketball is partnering with U.S. Cellular by giving the gift of connection. This season, the Hawks and U.S. Cellular encourage fans to support Iowa nonprofit organizations by donating new sports gear, art supplies, or family games. Fans can deliver donations to their local U.S. Cellular store through December 31st. Your support is appreciated. Let's show Iowa how the gift of connection can and truly impact the next generation. Well, Bobby, what pleased you most about the Hawks, who looked really good at both ends of the floor? Defense. Defense and the way they started the game, Gary. Uh, shot the three ball really well. and shot 54% for the game. Uh, that's outstanding. Three-point shooting was 38%. That's almost 40%. So, um, yeah, a lot of good things. But I thought the, as Courtney talked about at halftime, that changed the narrative. That, that three-game losing streak had to come out here and uh, get after it on the defensive end, and I thought they did that. Yeah, and, and played everybody, and everybody contributed, really. Yeah, they really did. It's good to see the guys at the end of the bench uh, get in. Uh, Laqueta with the three, Cater, Hutchison, Bronze. Uh, he, everybody got in there. Brock Harding uh, played really well. Lajie Dembele was impressive uh, in his stint there for the Hawkeyes. He, he doesn't look like a freshman. No, he goes he in there not. and battles. I mean, 14 minutes, he hit four or five shots. 
with uh, for nine total points and three rebounds. Lodgy Dembele will be our Old Dominion best in the game tonight. We could have picked any number of Hawks. Tony Perkins had uh, one of his better floor games today, as you'll hear in our stat recap. Uh, the Hawkeyes led by as many as 43, and they win at 88-52. Uh, over the uh, Rattlers of Florida A&M. We're coming back with more postgame courtesy of U.S. Cellular in just a minute. Our high V stat recap is coming up uh, as well. And, of course, Bobby is off to the locker room now to sit down with Iowa basketball coach Fran McCaffrey and get his thoughts on uh, the Hawks' sixth win of the season. Ho hopefully this starts a long winning streak. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Welcome back to the U.S. Cellular postgame show where Iowa now is 6-5 and five on the year after an 88-52 thrashing of uh, Florida A&M. The Hawks never trailed. Scored the first uh, seven points of the game. Peyton Sanford with a three and a two. The Hawks were off and running. They were turning uh, the Rattlers over. Uh, uh, scored 15 of the uh, first 17 points. Led by uh, 23 at halftime. And win it by a count of 88 to 52. Let's start our stat recap courtesy of High V. Score big savings with the all new, totally free High V Perks membership as we await uh, the appearance of Lodgy Dembele here at our courtside uh, uh, cubby hole, our uh, broadcast spot. Uh, Lodgy is our Old Dominion best in the game. And Hawk fans, is he going to be fun to watch? over the next few years, Lodgy Dembele. But for now, uh, our stat recap is courtesy of High V. The Hawks shoot 34 for 63 on the day, 54%. That's more like it. 10 of 26 from three. That's a biscuit under 39%. And uh, work to do at the free throw line, uh, hitting just 10 of 20 for 50%. More on that in our, our uh uh, Latham Seeds Charity Stripe recap coming up. For Florida A&M, just 19 of 63. Great defense by Iowa. Hands defense. They got a ton of deflections. Uh, as I mentioned, 11 steals, six block shots. It was all about that hands defense today as Florida A&M was pestered into 30% shooting, 33% from distance. 19 of 63 from the field, 5 of 15 from distance. The Hawkeyes control the backboard, out-rebounding Florida A&M 47 to 33 with eight offensive. Here's the breakdown individually. Iowa with, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four in double figures and another with nine. That would be our uh, Old Dominion best in the game, Lodgy Dembele with nine points, three rebounds. 
Three steals by the freshman from New Jersey. Hit one of two free throws. Made four of five shots from the field. Laji Dembele, really an outstanding effort by him at both ends of the floor. Iowa's leading scorer on the day. Good balance. Owen Freeman did most of his work, most of his heavy lifting in the first half. He had a double-double. 14 points, 11 rebounds. Hit six of nine shots. 13 for Peyton Sanford. Peyton had the hot start. The veteran leader got his team out to the big lead that uh, would never, uh, they would never relinquish. Relinquish. Peyton hit five of nine shots on the day, including a pair of threes and 13 points, three assists for Peyton Sanford, a dozen for Tony Perkins. Now listen to this line, 12 points, seven assists, five rebounds, only one turnover for uh, TP. He was at his level best. Ten points for Brock Harding, uh, the point guard freshman out of Moline, had a spectacular floor game. Ten points, two assists. Uh, just one turnover in 16 minutes played. Brock Harding with uh, a double-figure day of 10. Luke Lakata uh, hopped off the bench at the end of at the end of the game, stroked a three. Six points for Patrick McCaffrey, five for Ben Cricky. So on a day where Ben Cricky, Iowa's leading scorer, who averages. Uh, uh, almost 19 a game, had five points. The Hawks win by uh, a count of 88 to 52. For Florida A&M, uh, just one score in double figures. That uh, uh, K.J. Parker, who hit most of his shots in the second half, he had 11 points, took 12 shots to get there, including a pair of threes. Seven points each for Love Bettis and for Hans Lewis June. Iowa with 10 turnovers, 13 turnovers for uh, Florida A&M. Points in the paint, listen to this, 42 paint scores for the Hawkeyes and 18 for Florida A&M. It seems to me that's a good place to stop since Laji Dembele has sat down next to me here. Yeah. 42 paint scores to 18. You guys were terrors in the lane today. We did, we did. We're working on uh, uh, paint defense a lot because we watch a lot of film and we find out, like, most of the point coming from the pain, so we have to pay, take care of that. So that's what we do. Let me get that microphone a little closer to your yeah. mouth there. There you go. Okay. Um, I called it hands defense. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can't remember a game where the Hawks got so many deflections, block shots, steals, prying the ball loose. Yeah. You guys were demons on defense. Yeah, we were locked in. We had, like, a terrible week the past <laughs> one, so we had to wake up and, like, make the right play. Well, I'm sure you worked yeah. hard on every facet of your game uh, this week in practice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, talk about your development. You, you, uh, you are... I mean, when we first met you a couple of years ago, you came to a Rutgers game out in New Jersey, and mm -hmm. you, you seemed mature to Bobby and I at the time. We met you at the hotel lobby there and yeah. had a great visit with you. And, I mean, you have uh, you know a number of languages. I mean, you're a smart guy anyway in the classroom, mm -hmm. but uh, what, what, where does your love for basketball start? Uh, so I started playing soccer first. Like, when I was a kid, I, was, I used to play soccer. So, like, I learned from my brother because he started playing basketball. So when I started, like, growing up and I just switched sport, I was like, soccer is not the main sport for me because, like, my footwork is, like, kind of slow. So I said, let me play basketball. So that started around, like, so that's 11. where you got your balance, yeah, huh? Yeah, so running, I, start, I love the way you run the floor. I started at 11. Then I love playing basketball now until nowadays. Laji Dembele is our best in the game, courtesy of Old Dominion. Nine points, hit four or five shots, mm -hmm. even made a three. Yeah. Three rebounds, three steals. Mm -hmm. I love I love your fearless when you're out in the way. I mean, you're a guy, what, six, eight, six, nine, six, 240 eight. pounds. Yeah. You don't hesitate. You like that three ball, it's gone if, you, if you're do. open. Why not? I do. Like, I work on it, and I have confidence in myself. And Coach also gave, gave us confidence. Like, when you're wide open, just shoot it, make the right play. So that's why, like, I don't. I don't really afraid. Like when I'm out wide open, I just take the shot. Uh, why Iowa? It's a long way from home. Uh, what sold you on Fran McCaffrey and the Hawkeyes when they were recruiting you here just a year or two ago? Like when I started watching Frank game, like the way that he coached his player, like the love that he put on the basketball. So I just feel like Iowa was home for me. I took my visit and I really liked it. And I was like. That's the right play for me. You like that up and down game? I do. I uh, do. We like you in that up and down game. Uh, hey, how about, I mean, Owen Freeman, Brock Harding, Bryce Sanford. This is quite the freshman class. Yeah. We, like, we're really connected. We, we spend, like, every time together after practice, like, day off. We come, we come to the gym, work out 
together. So like we have a, a really good connection between us. And also like even when we we all signed it, we have that group chat that we be talking to each other, like trying to help each other, like what kind of issue we have, like what kind of problem we have, yeah. like off the court and on the court also. So we have that connection built, and we had that chemistry before even. Great communication become, among the youngsters. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I tell you, you mm -hmm. we think you picked the right spot. We're sure glad you chose Iowa, thank you, thank Lodgy, you. and uh, hopefully now this performance at both ends of the floor, 40 yeah. solid minutes, will mm -hmm. be the impetus, uh, the spark for a winning streak now. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Now we started it now. Uh, we're gonna stop. Yeah. Hey, Thanks for coming out. Thank I appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. Lodgy Dembele, our best in the game, courtesy of Old Dominion. Old Dominion. Old Dominion trade line. Old Dominion works hard to be the best in their game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. And tonight it was Lodgy Dembele. Back to the stat sheet. We'll wrap that up before we take a break here. Uh, the Hawkeyes with 10 turnovers uh, and turned uh, Florida uh, a &M over 13 times points off turnovers that uh, we told you about the paint scores and that brings us to our spot and rose sponsorship of points in the paint 42 for Iowa 18 for Florida A&M the Anderson 400 series windows from spawn and Rose are the clad wood windows that more contractors trust for their own homes contractors love them because they're easy to install time tested and are the windows with fewer callbacks homeowners love their superior design with styles that bring their unique vision to life start exploring the 400 series at trustanderson.com based on a 2022 Anderson brand survey of U.S. contractors. Stop in at your local Spawn and Rose dealer and get started today. Iowa out paint scores Florida A&M 42 to 18. The Hawkeyes uh, in the end uh, have uh, 11 steals and six block shots. Florida A&M got nine steals, most of those coming in the final 10 minutes of the game when uh, uh, Fran had emptied the bench. Nine steals and two block shots for the Rattlers. The Hawks win it 88-52. That's our high V stat recap, courtesy of our title sponsor here of the Hawkeye Classic in Des Moines. High V score big savings with the all-new totally free high V Perks membership. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. Hawkeyes win it easily, 88-52 over Florida A&M, and the veterans who had uh, struggled in that three-game losing streak uh, were front and center to take control of this game uh, right out of the gate, especially Peyton uh, Sanford coming home to Des Moines. Cricky with a skip pass left of the lane to Peyton Sanford. Got a smaller man on him, step back, jumper is right through. 
Yeah, good start for Peyton Sanford. He had two quick baskets. The Hawks got a double-digit lead before uh, you could uh, blink twice, and the Hawks rolled from there. Peyton hit five of nine shots on the day and 13 total points. Tony Perkins uh, with a beautiful back cut a couple possessions later uh, got an easy basket off a nice dish from Patrick McCaffrey. Whirls into the paint, jump passes to McCaffrey. He's open for three, passed it up. Now leans in with two on the shot clock, and a layup is good as he found a back-cutting Tony Perkins for two. 12 points, seven assists, five rebounds for Tony Perkins. Patrick, uh, obviously he can pass the ball. He can also shoot it. Throws back out front. McCaffrey's open again, shoots, scores. That was a three ball and put Iowa up 10 to two early on at uh, three and a half minutes in. The Hawks would score 15 of the first 17 points and uh, blow out to a 15-2 lead before Florida A&M could score again. Uh, midway through the half, our star, our Old Dominion best in the game, Lodgy Dembele came off the bench and went to work. Jump pass, no look pass, layup good by Lodgy Dembele. The assists there from Brock Harding, and the Hawkeyes were up 25 to 8 with 9.23 to go in the first half. Dembele shows he's got range, too, later on in the half. Five and a half to go, first period. Left wing, Brock Harding. Now to Perkins. Tony, jab step, throws to the wing, and Lodgy Dembele hits a three. Yeah, Iowa then uh, led 33 to 10 after Lodgy's three ball with five and a half to go. Nice pass. Uh, Tony Perkins found him open uh, out of heavy traffic, and Dembele stroked the three for a 33-10 lead. Late in the first half, of course, everybody played. Owen Freeman, uh, we haven't mentioned him yet. Uh, he scored the last six points uh, for the Hawks in the first half, including this lob tip with a half a second hanging on the clock. And they're guarding that paint. Here comes the lob. Freeman up and in. Got the buzzer. Oh, they got a foul call. They uh, wiped the foul away. They just counted the basket at the buzzer. Owen Freeman with a double-double for the Hawkeyes. And Iowa, uh, he had 14 points, 11 rebounds. That put Iowa up 23 at the half. And the Hawks win at 88-52. to Those are some of the highlights from today's game. Let's give you now our... Latham Latham Seeds Charity Stripe Recap. The Latham Seeds, a strong supporter of Hawkeye Athletics. Iowa made 10 uh, free throws in 20 attempts. That's just 500, and Coach McCaffrey won't put up with that, but not a lot to complain about when you win 88 to 52. 10 of 20 for the Hawks from the free throw line. Meanwhile, Florida A&M got there just 13 times. Did not shoot a free throw in the first half. Made 9 of 13 in the second half, but by then the case was closed. 70% shooting for Florida A&M from the free throw line. That's our Latham Seeds Charity Stripe Recap, sponsored by Latham High Tech Seeds. Just like the Hawks' diverse talents, no seed company has more trait and genetic diversity than Latham High Tech Seeds. Thank you, Latham, for supporting Hawkeye basketball and the American Cancer Society through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion all season long. We'll hear from Coach Fran McCaffrey next on our U.S. Cellular postgame show. 88-52, the Hawks de defeat Florida A&M, and this is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the Better Check That Business Out First so you don't get ripped off bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa Athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. 
American Equity salutes today's hero of the game as a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season. Please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Bobby Hansen's in the Hawkeye locker room, ready to talk to uh, Iowa basketball coach Fran McCaffrey off Iowa's 88-52 victory over Florida A&M here at the Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines. First, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification to allow our stations to identify themselves. 10-second ID break. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye basketball. Coach McCaffrey is sponsored by your Iowa John Deere dealers. Uh, sitting alongside is Bobby Hanson. And thanks to great John Deere dealers like KC Nielsen in Algona. Here's Bob and Fran. Coach, terrific uh, game here this afternoon at Wells Fargo Arena. Right from the get-go, you guys jumped out 15-2. to two, And I think the Hawks needed a game like this. Well, I think that was the impressive thing, Bobby. Uh, you know, we, we got off to a great start, you know, and put some doubt in their mind as to whether or not they could they could stay with us, and then we kept our foot on the gas. But I thought the starters were ready to go, like you pointed out. But the guys we put in, same thing. They, they, they kept their foot on the gas. Then all of a sudden, you know, we're down, what, tw- we're up 24 and a half, something like that. And then uh, traded buckets a little bit at the start of the second half. And then, you know, took it to 35 and, and, and did what we had to do. But I thought, you know, when you think about Freeman and, and, and Lodgy, Dembele, the defensive job they did on Grant, who's really been a handful, uh, you know, for a team that has a 300-pound center that they run good stuff for, they did a good job on him. They got a bunch of drivers, and I thought we guarded really well off the bounce, Bobby. I mean, it didn't go for shot fakes. We were in the gaps, created some turnovers. Uh, really impressive performance by, by our guys today. And you dominated the paint. I think it was 42-18 uh, points in the paint there. And uh, you talked about the big guy in there. But let's talk about Owen Freeman and another spectacular game for him, a double-double. Yeah, you know, and it was interesting. He missed that one dunk, and he got really down on himself. I said, man, you're playing great. Just just keep doing what you do. Like, when he's active like that, it has an unbelievable impact on our team. It takes a lot of the pressure off of Ben, who's ha- having to guard bigger guys at times. And so Owen was not only doing it at the defensive end, like we just discussed, but offensively he was running the floor. He was on the glass. He made some really impressive post moves, hit a pull-up jumper, got to the free throw line, and we're just a different team when he's playing like that. And Coach, the three-pointer was dropping too. This is a team that uh, doesn't defend the three-point line very, very well, but almost 40% shooting. That, that had to be good to see the ball go through the net. Yeah, we needed to make 10. And, you know, We had some other open ones that I thought were going to go in, but – you know what, we made 10. A lot of different guys make, made them, and that'll have to continue. Let's talk about Lodgy's line. He was our player of the game. Uh, he just does not look like a freshman out there. He comes in with confidence and uh, throws his body around and goes after the boards. Yeah, he's a really good defender. Not only does he battle in the post, he slides his feet. And he can guard smaller guys. He can switch with him. Guys don't get by him. And he's a traffic rebounder. You know, offensively, he, he screens and moves without the ball, but he's very comfortable shooting the ball from mid-range, from three-point range, little eight-footers off the glass, finishing. Uh, he was tremendous today. And Tony Perkins, the senior, I thought he set the tone. He had a really nice all-around game, uh, passing the basketball, seven assists, five rebounds, four or five from the floor. Tony was very good. He was tremendous. Uh, but again, you know, as you pointed out, Bobby, as a point guard, you know, he ran the offense, he pushed the ball, and he played really good defense at the point of attack. 
Coach, this was a game that uh, you could rest your starters in the second half. You got a lot of minutes for the other guys, and even some of the guys that uh, fans don't see at, at the end of the bench uh, came out and played hard. They did, you know, and I love those guys. They do a great job on the scout team preparing us. But I felt confident putting all those guys in there together. They play together all the time. And they had some fun out there, and that's great to see. Coach, this time of year, you talked about it in your pregame comments, it's a great time of year because the schoolwork is behind you. you got 30 days. You can just concentrate on basketball, improving individually and as a team. Talk about what that means to the kids. Yeah, you know, finals ended, of course, uh, yesterday. And so, you know, you, some of the pressure is off in terms of time commitment, and you can really lock in scouting report, extra shots up, extra lifts in. Uh, but uh, we can really come together as a team and and – take advantage of this time we can also put other stuff in if we want to or we can just focus on some things maybe that we really need to do better and and you know we we we, we have them here it's a group that really i think loves each other the camaraderie is there we can feed them and keep them here and keep them locked in and coach the final question uh, coming up the next game wednesday seven o'clock in uh, carver hawkeye arena you just mentioned you know, maryland baltimore county plays at a really fast pace Number one pace in college basketball. Uh, really well-coached team. Uh, and, and again, it presents a different challenge than what we just faced and before that. And that's, that's what we need to see before we head into league play again. Okay, Coach. Terrific bounce-back victory here uh, this evening, and uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. Appreciate it, Bobby. We will see Coach uh, on Wednesday. We'll also see Coach uh, Bobby and I will on Monday at uh, the Hyatt Regency there in Coralville for another week of Hawk Talk, 90 minutes of basketball chatter. It'll be a little more pleasant than uh, having to talk about last week. But, you know, that's uh, the ebb and flow, Bobby, of a 30 two game season you have some down moments hopefully many more good ones yeah absolutely and this was a game as I mentioned there to, to Fran that it, it seemed like everybody needed it talked to Peyton a little bit afterwards I complimented him on their defense he said he liked how they, uh, they started out intense and then stayed in the gaps you talked about that you, you don't overhelp, but you got to be in those gaps with those guys that, that'll help these kids moving forward and two more non-cons before uh, you tee it back up at Wisconsin our postgame visit with Coach McCaffrey is sponsored by K.C. Nielsen, your premier John Deere dealer, serving northern Iowa and southern Minnesota, offering parts, sales, and service on all John Deere equipment. K.C. Nielsen has been family-owned and operated since 1946. Learn more at kcnielsen.com. Final score, Iowa 88-52 over Florida A&M. The uh, women have just started their game, Iowa and uh, Cleveland State and the Hawks have an early what is it three two yeah Caitlin three, three two lead. The imagine that Caitlin <laughs> comes into uh, her home city and hits the first long range jumper of the night all right back with more on our U.S. Cellular post game show we'll look at that U.S. Bank scoreboard next this is Hawkeye basketball from Lurfield there's a Honda for every holiday adventure whether it's traveling to the holiday family dinner in an efficient court hybrid or heading to a hike to burn it off powerful CRV hybrid. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Accord Hybrid and a 2024 CRV Hybrid. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, whoa coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. Shush. While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Melrose Meadows. Voted Iowa City's best retirement community, the Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, and the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community, garage, indoor pool, and more. Visit MelroseMeadows.com for more information. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, 
You'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Hawkeye women out to an early 8-5 lead over Cleveland State. Caitlin Clark with a pair of three-point goals, and Hawks are off and running with the number three ranking in the country. As uh, Cleveland State at 9-1, and one, though, it's a team that Hawks won't take likely. You don't take in any opponent likely, and certainly they're not doing that. Iowa's hit some threes, compliments of Caitlin. And uh, Kate Larson now, uh, or Kate Martin, excuse me, will go to the free throw line to shoot free throws. 8-5, eight, uh, eight, Hawkeyes uh, early on in this game. Hawks win 88-52 over Florida A&M. Let's look at the rest of the scores, courtesy of U.S. Bank. Finals involving Big Ten teams. Georgia Tech edged Penn State in overtime, 82-81. Kansas topped Indiana in a great game. Uh, Kansas rallied to beat the Hoosiers, 75-71, number two Kansas. Rutgers over Long Island U, 83-61. Michigan State finally got it together at both ends of the floor today. Uh, throttling number six Baylor, 88-64. Ohio State in the CBS Sports Classic knocked off UCLA, 67-60 Buckeyes. Third-ranked Purdue has knocked off number one Arizona, 92-84. That's down in uh, Indianapolis, 92-84. Purdue knocks off number one Arizona. Uh, you said, Bobby, that was in the uh, Indy Classic, Indianapolis Classic? I believe so, yeah, in Indianapolis. They used to call it the Wooden Classic, maybe? Yeah. And that's a big win there for Purdue, knocking off number sure. one. Uh, Purdue's got to have the strength of schedule, number one yeah. <laughs> number one in the country, given who they beat at Maui and, and uh, now today with Arizona. Uh, second half, Northwestern has an eight-point lead on DePaul, 42-34. 14 minutes to go in that game. Of course, the Hawkeye women right here are playing Cleveland State and leading 10 to 7 uh, as we speak. Uh, games involving ranked teams, 19th ranked Texas over LSU, 96-85. 24th ranked Miami beat LaSalle by 7. 20th ranked James Madison over Hampton, 88-71. Fourth ranked Houston, a winner over Texas A&M, 70-66. Memphis beat Clemson. Somewhat of an upset there. Number uh, 13, Clemson falls by two to Memphis, 79-77. 15th ranked Florida Atlantic defeated St. Bonaventure, 64-54 at the half. Kentucky has a two-point lead on North Carolina. And Virginia trails Northeastern at home, 30-24. to In the NFL finals, Cincinnati in overtime beat the Minnesota Vikings, 27-24. Uh, just starting the fourth quarter, the Colts have a 24-13 lead on the Steelers, and later tonight it's the Denver Broncos at the Detroit Lions. And these are bowl game finals. The bowl season started this weekend. Uh, let's see, are these finals? Yeah, one final, Fresno State. Well, Fresno State with 40 seconds to go is going to beat New Mexico State, 17-3. Fresno with the lead. Uh, UCLA is playing Boise State later tonight. Cal will take on Texas Tech. A final Appalachian State has defeated Miami of Ohio 13 to 9. Ohio U beat Georgia Southern 41 to 21. And a final Florida A&M. They did win their bowl game today. Florida A&M 12 and 1 on the year after beating Howard 30 to 26 in the cricket celebration of bowl. No crickets here. It's loud. Jacksonville State over Louisiana 34-31 in the Carriers, the Reliant Carriers New Orleans Bowl. So there you have the uh, bowl season is off and running. That's our U.S. Bank scoreboard update. Uh, we'll close our coverage here from uh, Des Moines with the heating up the nets. Hot Hawkeye for the game uh, presented by the Lennox dealers of Iowa. Tony Perkins played 21 minutes with 12 points, made four of five shots, including a three-point goal and three of four free throws. And just for good measure, Tony with those 12 points had seven assists, five rebounds, and a blocked shot. That's about as hot as you can get, Bobby. He had one of his better efforts on this neutral setting. Yeah, I thought he was, had a really good all-around game as well. Pass in the basketball, he rebounded, and his defense was really good, and uh, that's what you need out of your senior class. Thanks to our Lennox dealers all across Iowa and the Midwest for supporting Hawkeye basketball, like North Central Iowa Services in Fort Dodge, Don and Waltz in Manchester, A1 United Heating and Air Conditioning in Omaha, 
In Shenandoah, Red Oak, down in southwest Iowa, it's Camblin Plumbing and Heating and Langles Plumbing and Heating in Sioux City. Well, that'll wrap up our coverage of Hawkeye basketball today. Again, uh, the men advance to 6-5 uh, and five on the year with an 88-52 victory over Florida A&M. Thanks so much for listening in. Uh, join us for the Coach Fran McCaffrey Show Monday night. That's when Bobby and I will greet you next, 7 o'clock from the Hyatt Regency in the uh, Coralville Strip at the Iowa River Landing in Coralville. Till then, thanks to Bobby Hanson. Thanks to our engineer producer, Corey Sheets. As we leave, uh, the Hawkeye women have a 13-11 lead. 13-11 to 11 over uh, Cleveland State with five and a half minutes to go first quarter. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. Hurry up, dude. The game's about to start. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your landlord's policy doesn't. Uh, dude, where's your TV? What? No way, dude. Like that flat screen TV that just got stolen. To draft an agent for your team, visit shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield. We're your shelter. You've been listening to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeye basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Mid-American Energy. Look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Also brought to you by hy V. Score big savings with the new hy V Perks membership. And by United Healthcare. Committed to helping people live healthier lives. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.